Hey. Hey. God, I love watching that. I know, me too. Every yeah. time. Every second. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Heroes and villains. Thank you for joining us once again, or maybe for the very first time, this episode of The Umbra Initiative. I am your professor, GM Colby, joined here by my lovely cast and crew, Corey. Hi. Uh, my name is Corey, and tonight I'll be playing as Jordan Teller. Davide. My name is Davide. And tonight I'll be playing as Barrett Stair. And Nicole. Playing Arabella Modesto. Hello. Three out of four of us are wearing hats. Three out of four of you should be wearing hats, too. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> yeah, look at this true. gorgeous Look at this hat. Look, at look at that merch over there. Look yeah, at the snapback. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It looks it's great. Good. Do you that, want, yeah, look at that. that. It's pink. It comes in several different colors. One of them pink. And I also got this beanie. Wait. I already showed it last time, but <laughs> embroidering on them is really nice. It yeah, is it very is. nice. It it's is. embroidered. It's not like yeah, yeah, those yeah. stick a ones sticker. that yeah, yeah, yeah. come uh, off. If you don't know what our show is, neither do Umbra. we. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Number <laughs> Initiative is a show in which the four of us play mutants and masterminds, a superhero-based RPG. But nay, we aren't just some simple Marvel cut and paste mm -hmm. entity. No, our stories are a little darker, a little moodier. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Right little now, bit. at the moment. A little more yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we got moose. Supernatural, you know. Uh, <laughs> we got... We're getting there. <laughs> we got moose. We got ferrets. We got, we got coyote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thank you for joining us. If you liked what you see, make sure you check us out on all of our social medias. Mm -hmm. You're looking up Keep Tap and XNOG. Search the Umber Initiative on Twitter. Podbean. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Spotify, YouTube. Look up Keep Tapping That's where you can find us, including all of our VODs, and if you just need all of the audio versions of what we do. And if you want one of these uh, these fine hats, I put the link in chat. Um, mm -hmm. You can go to our tip page. In the top right, there's a little merch button. You I can't get this hat there, works. though, because I bought this hat at H&M. It's true. <laughs> you can get the Initiative Beanie or the Initiative Snapback. Not, not a sponsor. No. You can uh, check us out on all of our link trees in any of our descriptions of our videos, and that's where you can find the links to merch and to any of our social medias in case you don't want to do all that pesky searching. It's yeah. just one button. You click there, and it takes you to everywhere. Easy. You everywhere. Bam. Easy, easy. Super easy. convenient. I wish I had a button that took me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It's only episode five, people. True. We're pretty early. Mm -hmm. So that means it's the perfect time to tell your friends and family and loved ones this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Get your grandma to watch Initiative. Get, Get them the gift of Initiative. Yeah. Get your grandma the pink snapback Umber Initiative. <laughs> That's tell, be like, what is, uh, what's Umber Initiative? And you'll tell, just her tell, it's her. A, tell her it's a church thing. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's tell her it's youth group. She's like, oh, <laughs> Jackie Galaxy was my favorite <laughs> in the last show. Oh. That's Sovereign. Ooh, he's a handsome man. <laughs> he's whatever you imagine him to be. <laughs> we should go into it now, right? Why not? Right I into... Mean, uh, I have a, a little story to tell Ooh. known as The Story So Far. Tell it to <gasps> me. Tell it to me. Give it to me. Episode five. There is tension amongst our heroes. The week has continued, and the party tries their best to move on from the supernatural phenomenon that keeps haunting them. Though, once complicated, one's life rarely unravels so smoothly. Jordan, during uh, one of his usual trips to the Death Adder Bar, is approached by a rather strange figure. Perhaps it was just the alcohol messing with Jordan's brain, or maybe the stranger was feeling particularly cryptic that night, but it seemed to be the latter's mission to bewilder the former, before leaving with, uh, leaving with no other patron recalling his existence. Throughout the week, rumors spread throughout the small town of Arcadian Haven, eventually reaching the ears of Arabella at the Entia Renquere compound. It seems two young members of the Arcadian Haven hunting lodge were attacked by a large creature with triangles in their eyes. Arabella offers to give a get-well basket to the victim, a boy named Jason, down at the urgent care facility in town. Her and Jordan visit, with Barrett following in the shadows, as he often does, only to meet Lacey LaCroix, Jason's friend and fellow hunter. She describes the otherworldly qualities of the beast that attacked them, prompting Arabella to want to check out the woods northeast of town. Jordan and Barrett, however, made their own choice to hunt the creature themselves. The latter had found a strange, excuse me, strange animated black substance in the woods, which piqued his curiosity. They meet with Lacey and begin their trek into the woods. After some bickering uh, on behest of the trackers, the party finds themselves searching 
uh, searching as it grows darker and darker throughout the night. Lacey notes that they've been getting closer to the Wilkin Woods campground, uh, which has not seen use in many years and rests along the massive lake east of Arcadian Haven. Their hunt would take a turn for the worst, however, when several coyotes appear covered in a black writhing tick like substance that Barrett found earlier that day. Arabella suddenly stopped in her tracks, influenced by some sort of outside force. It reaches inside of her, pulling something long dormant to the surface of her being, resulting in a complete transformation of her form. Long wings of flesh and bone, sharp teeth, <clears throat> and a tail meant to puncture her foes. Arabella was now something else. A fight breaks out, with Barrett quickly turning to dispatch Arabella's new form, the Jordan interferes. Arabella in her new form chases the frightened coyotes into the actual com uh, campground, pursued by her companions, including a rage-induced Lacey, until venturing into a cabin and seeing a deformed, corrupted moose. The moose! Oh, the driven moose. with a need to kill. <laughs> what is happening to Arabella? What is this corruption? Perhaps the answer lies within the Umbra. Hell yeah, baby. I'm ready to fight this moose. Don't forget that fucking motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. that's true. Get that. <laughs> that fucking... I'm on my bike. Before, though. Death moose, death moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me make sure. Creepy music is here. So, before we journey to Moose Town... <laughs> We see the moon in the sky, bright, <laughs> <laughs> and we move downward through the trees, and we see a familiar sight of partly dilapidated buildings, the Entia Relinquary compound, and we zoom through the halls, nondescript, not seeing any human being in sight until we turn a corner. And we see what looks to be a faculty break room. It says so much on a plaque next to the door frame, open doorway. Faint light from within. We see Mother Adele speaking with Sister Miriam. Mother Adele, mid conversation, says, Yes, perhaps uh, me next Friday we can. She stops. Dearie, what's... Uh, 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 and Sister Miriam stands up to approach Mother Adele, who raises a hand. Get Brother Lewis immediately. She stands. Let's not waste any time. We fade. As we join... Our heroes. I'm going to. Uh huh. You're gonna what? Ask for a new initiative roll. Okay. Hey. Okay. Fair. Take like that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Shit. All right, Moose. I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <All right>, Moose. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> 20 up. 22. Ah, 22. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 20. Coming in with that bike. Yeah. 15 to 20. 15 to 20. Okay. 10 to 15. Uh, 5 to 10. Come Five. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what did you do? Oh, okay. That's okay. Initiative ain't everything. That's okay. I like everybody going first. Gives me a chance to pick I always feel that way, too. I always like going first. Or going last. Mm -hmm. I like going first. Okay. This All character right. is so much more reactive than mm. action. All right. So to set the stage in front, uh, only one of you is inside the building. That would be uh, Arabella. Uh, in front of you, Arabella, mm -hmm. you see this moose, this creature in front of you. Once again, its front side of its brain is bursting out of its skull, almost throbbing as these pulsating black veins run up throughout its elongated, writhing uh, antlers. 
the entire creature itself is covered in these black tips uh, with these tentacles writhing outward, and you can see the neck flap that's uh, on all moose, moose, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, is a large, bulbous, Mice. wet, black, like, sack with tendrils oh. like, all throughout it. Um, there are two coyotes, um, the young year old pup with the massive tendril coming out of it, uh, its head, and uh, the uh, motherly one. Over here, it's also most of its body is like hairless and covered in this uh, these black ticks. Uh, you hear the revving of, an, of a motorcycle engine outside. Um, Jordan, you are approaching the cabin mm -hmm. last time. Uh, Lacey is also outside, uh, just dousing the cabin that um, Arabella is in uh, with with the um, uh, kerosene that she brought. Uh, let's begin. Okay, Barry, you first. It. All right. Um, so the building that the, the moose and Arabella is in, um, it's like—is it like closed off? Is—is there—is it damaged at all? Is like a wall? Oh yeah, the entire. Like a, so as you guys start noticing that the all of the woodwork of this entire place, the three cabins that make up the sort of left side if you're entering, um, the main like there's a large gymnasium type area, some sort of recreation building at the far end. Um, and then there's a dock to the, the right towards the east there. Um, all of it, every piece of wood is covered in these tips, this black icor corruption. Uh, and it's almost stretching the wood back down into the, the ground, causing a lot of roofs to cave in. Um, there's holes all over every building. This place is messed up completely. Um, so these are probably like smaller like buildings like not very tall mm -hmm. okay. yeah not very tall the cabins N they're 100 percent cat like okay small cabins okay um so so suffice to say i have a clear view into the how the, the building now. uh made a perception roll okay. um i will say because i forgot to do this last time everybody has a minus two um on perception rolls for lack of light okay okay uh so 13 13 mm -hmm. it's tough Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that you're just barely able to make out because her wings are like massive and stuff. She's not like this like tiny creature. Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of like writhing tendrils in your way. Okay. Um, is there like a window or any like hole in the wall? Uh, yeah, I'll say so. Okay. Uh, my plan is I want to drive by this house and throw a flashbang into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can you can certainly get that done. Okay. All right. So. Uh, everybody in the house has to make a fortitude. Uh, dodge. Dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it's not a, my strong suit. <laughs> it's a six. Is the, oh well. The rank. Uh, they rolled sixteen. The coyotes. So they. Okay. Pass. I rolled a natural nineteen. Oh wow. Well, right. Yeah, and then a, a twenty-one for moose. Oh. Uh, yeah, 20, 20 for moose. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you pop in. You see as your large tired bike skirts against you, driving the front, reaching your coat, throw the flashbang. You all see the. But uh, we see as an audience, we see uh, Arabella's wings, remember her form had formed in front of her face, just nonchalantly, almost like she didn't even think about it. Yeah. Like, and the the moose is just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the animals just don't give you a shit. You just see his eyes are like. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Eyes like. Uh, I, I just like drive a good ways past the cabin, turn around. Okay. My bike has a speed of six, so it can travel pretty far. Okay. Cool. Next is Moose. Connect Moose. All right. Uh, moose is going to attempt to gore you. As you see. Wow. All right. Moose gore. That's extreme. It begins to charge. And it takes like a second for it to like rev up. As it moves, but as it does it, you suddenly get the impression that the sheer mass of this creature is going to topple this entire cabin. Okay. Uh, this is my parry or dot? Uh, parry. Uh, 14? Yeah, it's a 13. <laughs> Alright, make a toughness throw. Oh, I will. Let's say 24. A 24? Mm hmm. Uh, all right, you're good. You're okay as you, uh, essentially you take the brunt, just like grab the front of the antlers here um, and are moved out of the building. Just <laughs> Jordan, you're right in front. You watch as uh, Barrett just driven by mm -hmm. and the entire front of this building just explodes. 
as Arabelle is thrown out, seemingly okay, and the, the moose is like half out of it. Mm. Um, yeah, that's something good Next is Arabella. Alrighty. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to, like, kind of, like, back off. Um, still, like, within range, but, like, back off from the moose. Um, uh, I'm going mm-hmm. to use a tail strike. Okay. Um, she kind of, like, smiles and is like, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. And then, oh, God. Um, then miss. Let's say <laughs> 10. A 10? Yeah. Um, yeah, you, your tail just <laughs> comes out, shoots out, and it strikes against one of the antlers and just <laughs> ricochets off. Mm-hmm. And your tail retracts back. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Any, anything else? Um, You know what? I'm gonna. No, no, I'm not. I think you can defeat Moose. Oh God, Moose, <laughs> moose is too God. powerful. Uh, the wolves. Uh, uh, excuse me, Coyote's turn. They're going to. I'm surprised they're below me. You see them both come out of the uh, the building itself, and um, one of them, the the female one, is just gonna howl out, and this pulse ripples out from it, and you see all of the tips along um, the, the creatures themselves begin to just, like, engorge. Uh. And uh, they uh, are more powerful. You don't know how, but... Mm, okay. And the young one is going to attack you. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's 17 base, so... Alright, made a toughness roll. So it tries to bite you. Uh... 32. You're good. <laughs> Tentacles in are trying to attack you. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a miss. Nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you uh, just swat the, uh, the creature away. Yeah, Um. Okay. as I'm, like, moving around, it, I'm almost, like, not using, like, my legs at all. Just kind of, like, freely, like, using my wings and yeah. moving around. Okay. Uh, next, Jordan. Um... Where are the coyotes in conjunction to Arabella? Right next. Uh, one, uh, the young one is right next to her. Okay. And then the the moose are, uh, the moose and the other coyote, the mother one, are beside each other, right. a little bit ahead of, ahead of her. Uh, which one is closest to me? Uh, the the little the, the little one, young one. Um, I'm going to uh, like close my fists and charge cosmic strength, mm. give myself my glow. And then I'm going to reach out to the smaller one, and I'm going to make a black hole in my hand, and I'm going to pull it towards oh, me. Ooh, yeah. all right, all right. So, um, what does it say? It's move object, right? Uh, yeah, it's move object seven. Okay, is it perception or? Um, you know, I don't know. If it doesn't say it, that means make a range attack. Yeah. So. Okay, so make a range attack. Uh, a natural twenty. That okay? Nice. And then roll the rank of the move object. I'll try and resist. Let's see if you have to pull it. Aye, okay. Two. Thirteen. Shoot, come no. here. <laughs> yeah, you see as this coyote mm. is pulled right towards you. Nice. Um, nice. And kind of like skirts against the ground. Mm. The buck hold and writes itself back up. But uh, yeah, you, you got its attention. Nice. Anything else? Um, We, we can wait. <laughs> uh, Lacey's turn. Uh, you see her towards the side of the, the cabin just trying to look. Uh, the moose is still half inside. Of the of the cabin itself, and she reaches into a bag and lights a match and throws it. Starts lighting the uh, the cabin on fire as it quickly begins to spread through the the gas uh, the uh, flammable substance, and uh, starts to provide a lot more light um, to the area. Uh, Baron. Okay, so where's the other coyote right now? The one that isn't trapped in the black hole. Uh, right next to the moose. Okay, inside the cabin. No, just like outside of it. It's like the path that's outside. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something. Okay. Uh, I, I love doing weird things. Uh, I'm going to um drive towards the coyote. Okay. Um and try to ghost ride my bike as a slam attack into it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what the damage would be on that. A uh, slam attack. It would be my speed rank on the bike. I love it. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, so, yeah, damage is speed rank plus one. All right, roll to hit. How would I roll to hit? It would be a <laughs> melee attack, but you're not like just a a melee attack. I've heard like an unarmed attack. I guess so. Okay. For now, <laughs> it's an improvised weapon, technically. Technically, yeah. mm. is that a natural one? It's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> then you drive backwards. And... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wrong gear. <laughs> You go back into the trees where you came. Out. Yeah, I think I think what happens is you like, and like you see like a little ride grin. Like, yeah, yeah. And you like jump off, like, and we see like like a bird's eye view of it heading right towards, and the audience is like, and it just, and it just goes just right. Just yeah, yeah. It goes right. Actually, it doesn't even make it. It like yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't do you didn't rev the engine up, so like three fourths of the way just. <laughs> just tips Rides over. Side, yeah. It's like a bicycle. Like Ehh. everyone's quiet. Like, <laughs> well, that like, didn't work. <laughs> okay, it was worth a shot. Wow. I wanted to try something cool. <laughs> that was very impressive. Uh, Moose's turn. Moose. Um. Uh, Arabella. Okay. Make a will save for me. Oh, that's not a good one for me. <laughs> uh, 17. Ooh, you're okay. Nice. You feel nice. that that familiar oh, like tethering. No, it's okay. I was just thinking I have a team attack idea for you. That me. familiar tethering that mm -hmm. comes towards you. It, you feel it latch inside of your chest again, but stuff it off. And uh, tentacles are going to extend from the creature. Trying to hit you. Uh, yeah, that's a natural 19. So, hits. Yeah. Toughness. Uh, 24. Okay, yeah. Strikes you. Doesn't seem to phase you. Alright. Next is... Arabelle. Um, just for flavor, every time... I get hit, there's just like more of this black, like fibrous substance that like mm. sprays out, and all it does is like you just see it like harden wherever it uh, hits. A carapace, if you would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I would like to. Uh, she's going to t go and try to like just for flavor like she's gonna go and like almost on top of the moose like where it is like fly up and like latch her hands under it and go back and you just see again the jaws open up really Ugh. wide and she just bites down right on its okay. head Nasty. bite the moose Nasty. another one bites the moose, bites the moose. <laughs> 14 you Dang attempt it. to pierce right in but it's you get a taste of like that spongy black uh -huh. uh, like, tick tentacle in it and like oil your, your teeth just slide right off and you fall uh, off and like, so tumble off of the, yeah. the moose. Okay. Anything else? Um. No. Okay. <laughs> Coyote's turn. They will uh, be cool. The female one is going to step back into the cabin, and then you hear another oh, boom, and you see once again these tendrils start to strengthen more. Uh -oh. oh, stop yeah. it! Uh, Yo, somebody get that fucking bitch! The little one is going to attack you, Jordan, having, you know, you just got its attention. Yeah, <laughs> come here. Yeah. That is... Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Your parry. It hits. Okay, toughness roll. Unnatural 20. Uh, unnatural 20? Mm -hmm. You're okay. Uh, nice. Tentacle's gonna come out and attack you, though. Uh, that is a 15? Nope. All right, nice. you're good. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, you watch as one comes down and you kind of just, like, grab by the neck and scruff and nice. uh, kind of push it away. The tentacle lashes out and you just uh, hold out your arm and this particle of energy is ruptures out causing the tender to reach back. Alright, uh, your turn. Jordan? Um, 
as it does that, as I like scruff it while I'm holding it and it like hits me with like yeah. the tendril and I block it, I just bring it knee up like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I didn't expect the table to be that low. <laughs> right. And just like knee it under the chin. Alright, nice. make an arm attack. Ooh. Um, How does that not hurt it that much? Uh, <laughs> 11. I know, do trust me. Does not, unfortunately, yeah, you, you get the hit. Like, yeah. you crack against its, its chest and you feel like a snap. Um, but as you pull away, it doesn't seem, it, it seems to almost ignore the mm. pain itself. Um, it doesn't even react to it. Weird. Like, no yelp or anything. Mm. Um, okay, anything else? Um, I release it and sure. back off like 10 feet. All right. Um, Lacey's turn. Uh, you see her pull out her rifle. Um, the fire just kind of illuminating the black like ink that's running down her face and it's starting to you can see her veins in her body so she just reaches out um, and she's going to fire the nice Sarah Bell is very concerned for her the current <laughs> one's not <laughs> well a shot's coming your way hey hey what the fuck Arabella's she, on sabbatical. She, as it looks as though Lacey's just aiming for any anything in front of her. Mm. And just says, I'll kill you! And fires a rifle. What the fuck? Uh, 12? For your dodge. For, it just hits. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, I rolled a natural one, which Ooh. is a total of 15. 15? Uh, give me something. Damn. Let's see, for a second here. Rule check. Rule hey. check. I don't like that. Nothing ever good comes from <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> gonna make a for total 15, you said? Yeah. Uh, so you take, with the natural one, you take two degrees of damage. Okay. You're considered dazed. As this bullet, I'm so preoccupied with everything else going on, this yeah. sort of like young girl, just kind of like whatever. Not on my radar. Yeah, uh, until uh, a rifle <laughs> round just plunges right into your shoulder. <laughs> And through all of your uh, armor or anything, and mm-hmm. you just feel and that blood rush down. Oh. <laughs> all right. For a second, you hear like this almost like hissing screech, mm-hmm. and she like looks back, just like what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, Barrett, your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call my bike to me, and start driving towards me. Yep. Um, and I guess I'll just hop on it and. That's, it's my turn to call it to me. Okay. So, or it's my action. So, All right, you get back on the bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you have to, like, pick it up like a kid yeah, with his yeah. bike. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Moms are chilling. Uh, uh, Moose turn. Moose. Uh, Jordan, make a will save. Uh-oh. Remember when I had goodwill? Ah, uh, me too. You, <laughs> you feel your your vision just for a moment goes towards the moose, and um, everything else seems to turn just dull for a moment, and something reaches inside of you, and this innate feeling you felt it before earlier while in the woods, this fear and this desire to be away. Uh, and, and to run, uh, you are compelled. Mm-hmm. So you must take a single standard action determined by another. And Great. another deems for you on your turn to run. Oh, nice. Dip. Okay. Next is Arabella. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, she kind of looks over at the moose and then looks over at Lacey and what are you doing can she's go- okay yeah she's gonna like kind of like like bare her teeth and like hiss at her and she's gonna go fly around um the moose and try to uh She wouldn't notice uh, the other wolf in the... If you're, like, flying above the moose, you yeah. would. Okay. Uh, she's gonna go after that one. Okay. The coyote. Yeah. Okay. 
this coyote. Uh, she's gonna use her claws this time. So like, she turns around, hiss, like jumps over, and like lunges at the other wolf. Coyote. Coyote, whatever. <laughs> so they're related. Twelve. Twelve. Fuck. Yeah. That was not hit. Fuck. You threw it right by it. it. It's pretty agile, despite its its condition. Um, I'm gonna use extra effort. Oh no, I can't. Mm. Dazed. Wait. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, so it's technically, you couldn't technically even I moved. couldn't even move. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. I guess I wouldn't have even yeah. attacked. All right. There's something else then. Huh? Are oh, you just gonna move then, like beside it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next is Coyote. Uh, she's gonna swipe at you. Okay. Is she like between like? Is it like? Am I between like the like, moose and the wolf? Yes. Uh, I mean Coyote. Um, not twenty. <sighs> okay. Toughness roll. Okay. Uh, thirty-two. You're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, tentacles gonna come out and attack. Uh, that's a seventeen to hit or nineteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, toughness. Oof. Uh, twenty. You're good. No, no, I'm sorry. Eighteen. With one injury. Okay. Why well, you got hurt? I know. Damn. The cracks are forming. <laughs> <laughs> the young one's gonna attack you, Jordan. Okay. Um, 15? Are you parry? Mm. Nope. Nice. Alright, and then the tentacle. Oh yeah, 22. Oh yeah. The toughness. Oh. 10. Mm. 10? Uh, you take two injuries. Ooh. So, uh, one injury, excuse me, and you're dazed. Okay. Alright, your turn, Jordan. Um, as I was focused on mm -hmm. the thing attacking me, um... I dodge like a bite of the coyote and then the yeah. tendril lashes at me. Yes. And when it connects, it kind of like fucks up his vision a little bit and he focuses on the tendril and looks beyond the tendril and sees the moose in his peripheral mm -hmm. and then focuses on it and then just instantly becomes like demoralized and mm. the glow leaves his eyes, the glow leaves his hands and his hands just kind of slump by his sides and this like this fear like yeah. climbs his spine up into his head and causes him just to like instantly turn and book it yeah yeah completely yeah. in the opposite direction yeah i think you when when you start booking it when that fear finally like clicks inside mm. of uh, your brain stem you um you, you you we as an audience hear lots of snippets of different voices in your head just like um, oh, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Teller. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, Jordan. Different voices, all the same respect, and a familiar feeling comes in. Yeah, we just see Jordan start running. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Lacey, let's so take another shot at, uh, oh, little coyote. Little baby coyote. Uh, she misses, unfortunately. Okay. Barrett. Um, I'm going to drive a little ways a little ways away from the cabin just to like a better vantage point okay. that I feel more comfortable at. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to stop there, turn my motorcycle back into my gun. Um, and then I'm gonna what a use, sentence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use extra effort to take a shot. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a shot at the coyote that Jordan is right away. Mm, okay. Two shots coming at it. Thirteen to hit. Does not hit. No. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah, no. bad rolls tonight. Yeah, Very bad. Yeah, you bad see from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see a uh, clump of dirt kick up from the shot beside it. It doesn't seem to even care. Yes. I did. I did. Moose's turn. The moose noticed. The moose. <laughs> uh, as it. starts to move towards you. Uh, it can't make the full distance as you drove probably towards uh, the, the large recreational building. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's going to spend extra effort okay. for oh. another move action. Nice. Or sorry, two move actions and then on its turn it's going to try and gore you. Okay. Damn. Oh, uh, that's a 
seven. Uh, oh, eight, sorry. No, oh, eight. Let's do ten. No, <laughs> bad rolls oh, all around. Yeah. I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you roll right out of the way at the last moment, uh, having that discipline to kind of hold your ground mm-hmm. until the very last second. And uh, it crashes into the wall. It doesn't go into the, the large like, gymnasium building. It just <laughs> turns, and you see debris and wood and rock. <laughs> It hits its head and like hits its brain, putting oh. a chunk of its oh. brain off, and oh. it doesn't care. Of course. <laughs> uh, Arabella, it's your turn. All right. Um, she kind of like. So as she sees like. Oh wait, I lied. Sorry. Tentacle attacks Barrett. You freak. <laughs> you sure. Freak. That one. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you freak. Um. It's just like. What you? <laughs> yeah, lost its brain. So like. Uh. I just imagine it like instantly like stretch and tense out like oh uh, yes like when people like land wrong and then they like stiff uh. <laughs> um so she kind of like after getting hit a couple times she kind of like st- you could see her start getting frustrated but she kind of strains herself up takes a deep breath and is like all right i guess i'll have to try this time and then i'm gonna use accurate attack mm, okay for um who what's closer to me uh, right now, only the female. The female. Coyote okay. Is so she's gonna use an accurate um, claw attack for. Oh, actually. Yeah, she's gonna use an accurate. Okay, accurate so claw attack. Minus two or minus five? Do you have the advantage? I do have the advantage. Um. So, minus two or minus five. Does ac- your damage. So would that take minus five from the damage to the? Correct. I'll do minus two. Okay. So you have a plus two to hit in addition to everything else. Yes. Oh, fiddle faddle. Sorry, it's it's cocked anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> it looked better outside the tray. Fuck! I couldn't even say it. <sighs> yeah, that's a one. Yeah. Um, You're like, I'll just I'll try it this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you swipe and you take off a chunk of, it, of the coyote's shoulder and it doesn't care. Uh, I'm gonna use extra effort. Oh wow. Okay. And I'm gonna. Yeah. Again. Real quick, I just caught the transition from Arabella to the dark one, like the back and forth, and it was so cool because her image just faded to black. Yeah, it was, oh. it was such yeah. a cool, like, it looked like the transformation. Nice. It was really cool. All right, she's gonna do the same thing, except she's gonna turn into a tail, accurate tail attack. Okay. Please. Thank you. Holy shit. Uh, 20. That hits. There you go. Damage? Finally! With the uh, minus, minus two? Yeah, with the minus. Uh, five. Takes one injury. And that has, um, weakened fighting. Mm. Rank? Seven. Whoa. Uh. So it gets minus three fighting. Nice. That was solid. Okay, yeah. At least that. Jeez. (laughs) Alright. Um. Yeah, you watch as the tail goes right, uh, you slash at the shoulder, didn't care, and your tail comes back around the other end, and goes right into its stomach, and it, like, 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 cell. Mm. <laughs> its tail kind of plunges right in, and you see this blood and black sludge kind of seep out of it. Um, and, I don't know, you're like pumping something in? Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, like more of those fibers, just yeah. like, start taking it over, yes. like on top of the stuff. Okay. Um, and the whole time she... Is looks more focused, but she doesn't look like, like um, dismayed. Like she doesn't look like she's mm. like, oh, I can't do. It. She's still yeah. like, I like just fired gotta, up or, yeah. or bored. Uh, more like focused okay. than anything. Coyote's turn. It's to try and attack you for that. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Uh, no. I mean, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Toughness. Uh, twenty-four. You good? Uh, okay. Oh, so- uh, um, Jordan. Yes. Can you make it another roll save for me? I, should yeah, have I was going to ask if I was still compelled at the beginning yeah. of my turn. Nice. Um, 16. Oh, you're good. That was actually it. 21. Nice. I'm sorry. 21? Yeah. Because I have you're good. injuries. Okay. Okay. We have a nap 20 for tendril. Oh, fuck. Toughness. Shit. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do bad math. Uh huh, uh huh. 25. Ooh, just make it. <sighs> okay. Uh, little one's gonna chase after you. Okay. 
uh, that's a natural two. <laughs> so even in your running yeah. stage, just like trying to bite at you and yeah. uh, just can't. Gra- it like nips at your leg, and the yeah. fear just overrides any pain. Mm. Uh, tendrils in attack a two. <laughs> nice. Oh God, what is <laughs> happening today? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Jordan, your turn. Um, you're you're free now. Yeah. Um, the whispers, all these voices, just stop. Mm. As they fade, that like purple energy kind of like crawls back mm. into Jordan, almost like as he's running, like things were like starting to like tunnel, and mm. every like his vision was like going black as he was hearing all these voices and things like that. And as it starts to like almost become like pinhole, this like purple energy starts to appear in his vision. And it kind of clouds over and takes over his eyes again. Nice. And the cosmic energy reactivates. And as it does, he kind of turns on his heel as the coyote is like, chasing after, and he clutches it Ugh, and okay. like catches it as it goes for like another bite at his leg. And as he grabs it, he flies straight up and like corkscrews through the air, and then just lets go of it at the top of okay. the uh, forest. Nice. And now you look at fall damage. That's right, B. Let's check. I don't know how fall damage works. It definitely oh. is a thing. I just don't remember. Could I enhance it? Enhance so. falling? Yes. I don't think so. <laughs> like you Unless you're like falling. throwing. Well, I mean, I mean, gravity has a, a certain velocity in which it right. you can't really do much more. Of course, but I could make it stronger. I, I, I get, uh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh the forward, black ice cream. Yeah. 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 I, I'm picking up where you're putting down. Oh, I'm putting it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going down. Don't you worry. A fall inflicts damage rank 4 plus twice the distance rank fallen to a maximum rank of 16 damage. Okay, so, um. I guess we should determine how high I fly. Yeah. Then. Well, first you have to make sure you can grapple it okay. to actually yep. do make this. Mm-hmm. So no make problem. An attack. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, that, that hits. Okay. Nice. And then it has to make a strength roll or acrobatics. All right. Or agility, I should say, against your um, strength. Okay. Oh, that one doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll roll anyway. I need to see how much. Just in case you get that one. By. Uh, twelve. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Okay, how far are you going up? Um, how far can I go in a turn? What's your what's flight? Your flight five. Five, five is. Oh, I just had this in my head. I, I will. Ten seconds, right? I have one turn. rank. Sixty miles per hour. Right. So Four. it would be nine hundred and sixty feet. Damn. <laughs> so flat, so like, right yeah, so like oh almost a quarter mile in the air. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. It's a maximum rank of 16 damage, so I guess that's what it'll be. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but it takes a while to fall. It'll like take about a turn, right? So, yeah, so, probably. Wait, what's the damage of falling for rank 4? It's rank plus... 4 plus twice the distance rank to a maximum oh. of rank 16. So it's oh, rank so... 14. It's 14 damage. 14 damage, right. Oh, so yeah. It has to be 5, twice yeah, yeah, 10, okay. plus 4, 14 so, damage. Okay, so on its next turn, it'll Look resist Look at you that. being good at math. <laughs> Okay. A lot uh, of damage. I didn't realize fall damage was that much. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> damn. All right, Lacey. Space boys using gravity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Lacey's gonna shoot at Moose. Moose. He's gonna kind of walk out into the the middle of the um, campground area and pop a shot. Um, she hits surprisingly. Nice. And that uh, deals one damage to Moose. Wow. As you, a rifle shot goes right through it. All right. Barrett. Okay, uh, I'm gonna back up from this moose about 30 feet, so mm-hmm. can, and then I'm gonna, uh, is, is defensive attack, does that take away from to hit or to damage? Defensive attack? Yeah, uh, it adds to your defenses and minuses from. I'll tell you right now. So. Uh, I think it might be to hit. I think it's it is too. Hit. I'm pretty positive. Oh, defensive. Uh, da 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 da, pounce it to your attack bonus. Yeah, attack bonus, yep. Okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move back 30 feet from the moose, and then I'm going to use a defensive attack. Okay. So my active defenses go up by five, mm. and the hit goes down by five. Okay. And I'm going to try and shoot it. Do it. 20. Nice. 20, that hits. Damn. Basically, right. it takes like a hip fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And seven damage. Seven damage? Nice. Ooh. Okay. So 
three degrees. Hell yeah. Very nice. Well. <laughs> Who'd you hit? The moose. Nice. Yeah, your bullet goes right into like the eye socket. Oh. <laughs> Pierces out the other end, and you see its eye is like half chunk, half hanging off of its like little stem. Uh, uh, and it's still up, it's still moving, but it's just oh. moving. Uh, Okay. Right. Nice. Uh, moose turn. Nice it shot. didn't like that. It nice definitely shot. did not nice like shot. that. Nice shot. Nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> uh, make a dodge roll. Well, Me? Yep. Yeah, I have plus five because yep. I'm defensive. Nice. So I rolled a four, so that's 14. Oh. 14? Yeah. Just make it. So oh, okay. make a toughness roll. Okay. 15. Okay, you're good. Uh, now also make another dodge roll. Okay. Do it. 21. 21? Yes. You're okay. Whew. Woo! That defensive attack saved my ass. Yeah. <laughs> you're down, uh, hit, do the hip fire, mm-hmm. checking the damage you just did, and look down to notice these tendrils reaching up to grab at your legs, uh, oh, okay. and you pull right away. Nice. You realize just in time. Uh, oh. Okay. Arabella, your turn. Okay. Um, she's gonna try to take um a bite out of the coyote. Yes. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um. Yeah. So she's gonna lunge in, still with that kind of like focused look. Oh, yes. Nice. Um, I rolled a nineteen plus six. Yeah, that's a hit. Damage. Uh. Eight. And it has uh, enhanced assessment. Uh, how do you kill it? <laughs> <laughs> need assessment with that fucking roll. <laughs> so, she, with that still, like, again, she doesn't look dismayed or anything. She doesn't look like she's, she doesn't mm-hmm. let on that she's even taken a wound, but she just, like, unhinges her jaw and, like, lets out this really loud screeching hiss. Uh, and you just see, like, her teeth almost look like they're getting longer. Okay. And she takes the biggest chunk out of, like, the wolf's head. Mm-hmm. And, um, Jesus. kind Coyote. of almost looks yeah. like she's yes. eating it. Okay, you just start devouring yes. this guy. Is she, like, swallowing it or, like, like uh, spitting out the chunks of the Oh, no, sword? she's swallowing it. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last one, bro. All right. It's, it's dead. You killed Mama. Damn. Uh, Wolf's turn. Or now you got me saying. <laughs> Coyote's turn. Coyote. 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 Uh, small one is gonna fall. Uh, <laughs> writhing in the it. sky. It's gonna take a while for it to fall. <laughs> uh, you flew. How much? How much feet did you fly? Up? Uh, nine hundred and sixty. Was it nine hundred and sixty? Uh, yeah. Then uh, it's it's gonna take a while. So it's gonna take like. What well, was fall speed? Well, uh, people fall at 32 feet per second, <laughs> and around is six seconds. So. So you could do your thing on your turn. So like 120 feet per. What thing per on my turn? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I'll right? probably speed up the process yeah. a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really fucking cool idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jordan, your turn. Um, <laughs> as I let go of it and watch it go down. Um, I fly downward about halfway past it and look up at it as it's coming down and I reach to the ground beneath it and I open a black hole underneath it and speed up the process as it drops to the, sky, the ground. Uh, okay. Uh, so make a, uh, the pole is what, dodge roll? I mean, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 20. My dodge. 20 not natural, so it kind of just oh. starts maneuvering itself in the air. How? <laughs> because I can't let you break the game. <laughs> I'm just like, Isaac Newton would be pissed. <laughs> you flew 900 feet in the air, of course he'd be pissed. <laughs> he'd be pissed that like fucking gravity isn't working properly. I mean, it's working it's, as it normally does. Yeah. It's not working in my favor. He'd be very pleased <laughs> that I you guess. flew up and dropped this dog here. pretty yeah. well. I guess. Can we can we just uh, make a pact to break all Kobe's campaigns in the future? And just drop every enemy. <laughs> I'm making first. the game work for me. <laughs> That's it. Anything else? Um, I mean, I, I kind of used a move and an action, so no. <laughs> Did you move? 
Yeah, I flew down oh, about okay. halfway. You do like a, like a Goku Nappa? <laughs> sort of, like I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> no, I mostly just kind of flew beneath it just so I can get a better view. Now, did you ground. do the pole or did you do the black hole something? Um, I didn't pull it. No, I okay. created the black That's hole underneath it so the, the hole was pulling. Yeah. Understood, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to be sure. Alright, uh, Lacey's turn. Uh, it's, it, it'll it'll do its thing. Shoot. I can just like leave it. Yeah. <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> Nature will take its course. <laughs> she hits the moose, but it doesn't do any damage. Uh, okay, Barrett, your turn. Okay. Uh, just letting my recovery build up. Oh, oh god, what am I gonna do? Uh, shoot the moose. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to to run and back up like away from further away from the moose. Mm -hmm. Um. Are the tendrils still coming out of the ground, or did they? Like, they were like all over the place. Yeah. It just so happened they were more active in that area. I you see. see, like as you move away, they start to settle. But mm -hmm. you kind of get the impression that like any part of this area could do something similar at any point, right? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so in the sky. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drop to the ground. Mm -hmm. Go okay. prone and just. Let it trample. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I'm Take> <laughs> Sorry. Um, is anyone else around? Is anyone coming towards us? Uh, right now, the only one engaged in your area is just you and, uh, and Moose. Okay. You were pretty far away. Um, engaged to the Moose. I'm just, I'm just gonna, moose and die. I'm just gonna aim right for what's left of its My brain life. and just try to end it in power die. Ooh, okay. I'm try to hit. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Uh, no. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you fire right through, and it just goes wide. It, it keeps moving. You actually shoot some of its antlers off, and it falls like branches. Okay. Okay. Moose. 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 The moose. It's going to... Uh, it's gonna try and gore you. Okay. And it's gonna do an all-out attack. Okay. So it's gonna do minus five to its, uh, to hit. Yeah. Minus five to hit it's with all-out? It's defense. Uh, it's defenses. defenses. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Uh, does a... Does a 17 hit? Yes, it does. Made a toughness roll. You can do it. 19. Nice. 19? That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. That's weird. Uh, you take 4? Uh, sorry, uh, it's damage rate 13. Okay. So it's 28. You roll the 19 total? 19. 24. Okay, so you take 2 degrees. Two degrees. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, a lot of damage. Then make a fortitude save for me. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, actually, no, you're already prone, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah it just kind of, as it's running, it <laughs> reaches its head down, and you see its antlers just sink into the dirt and, <laughs> and just collide with you and kind of bring you back up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you just see as parts of the sharpened, some of the stuff you shot off had formed like these jagged bony bits like mm. in your skin. Oh. You are impaled by this creature as it just hits oh. you back down. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, he slammed Ow. dunked you, girl. <laughs> yeah, he did. Arabella, your turn. All right. Snack. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a five out of ten. <laughs> um, you leave a Yelp review of this guy, buddy. <laughs> um, how far away is the moose from where I am? Could it's I about get a good, him? like, 60, uh, it'd be even further. It'd be, like, 100 feet away. Um, uh, I have flight rank four. I, would I you be should be able to make that. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, hold on, maybe I'll do something with flavor? Mmm, flavor. Flavor? Salt and vinegar him. <laughs> oh, never mind, it's not like that. Like <laughs> um, all of our products smell like salt and vinegar. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, like, just, uh, with my face still, like, gory and gross mm -hmm. and disgusting, uh, I'm gonna stand up straight, like, let my wings unfurl as big as possible, and, like, Projectile yourself? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, okay. And I'm going to try to uh, uh, do like a tail spin and hit it with my tail. Ooh, okay. That's badass. I like it. Um, Remember, it has 
minus five to all of its defenses. Wait, what does the moose? Mm-hmm. You did all out of town. Oh shit! You're right. Oh. Your total? Uh, fourteen. That hits. Oh yes. Nice. Okay. All right. What's the damage? Uh, it's what was I doing? Tail? It's seven, and it has weakened seven. Mm-hmm. Fortitude, right? Yeah. It's two degrees of damage. Nice. Um. And fortitude? Yes. Seven. It's, uh, 23. Oh, yeah, okay. So, that's, I'm not in, it's fine, but you, like, shoot yourself like a missile towards yeah. it, flip in the air as your tail uses the momentum and slash right down on its side, and you just see this spray of blood and black goo. Yeah, and as I'm doing this, I'm like, very haphazard. Like I, I don't care that he's like right there. I'm yeah. Just, like, mm-hmm. Some of the blood that like, sprays onto you, yeah. Barry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, coyote. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Fumbles. Ah! That's all it's gonna do. Jordan, your turn. Um, as I watch it fly, like drop from the sky, <laughs> I move on. From How many it. turns is it actually gonna take? To- it's it's like it's nine turns. turns to catch fire as it falls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a missile. Oh. We, we cut back to um, uh, oh my god, uh, why am I forgetting her name? Uh, the little the little kid oh. in town. Oh yeah. Uh, why am I forgetting her name? Hold on, hold on. I got you. I need, I need it for the bit. I need it for the bit. Uh, Laura, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna wish upon it. <laughs> Oh, look, look at that! He points her little brother. Look at little. Dang. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the girl the sling shot. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, what are you doing, Jordan? You're like. Right. <laughs> You're good. I'm going to do the stupidest fucking thing yeah, you've yes. ever heard I love in your this. whole life. Right, Ready? Right. Yep. I'm gonna keep an eye on this thing. I'm gonna know where it is in the sky. I'm gonna yep. look in the opposite direction. I'm gonna see all the action happening where that moose is. I'm gonna see the tendrils and yeah. the little specks of things that are happening, your shots and whatever. I'm gonna fly in that direction. I'm gonna stop in front of the moose, like, like within like six feet of it. Yeah. I'm gonna Pick reach into the sky. I'm gonna. Oh, Send energy <laughs> out of my hands no! into the air. I'm going to grab the fucking coyote. No! Like cosmic grasp. I'm going to pull it towards me. Okay. Uh, I like... You know? Alright. It'll pay off in about right. eight more turns. Made a range attack. It's well, like a meteor. <laughs> I love it. That's right. amazing. Make a range I attack. See if right you can now. hit the pupper. The pupper. I love Oh no. <gasps> Hero do you have point. Lucky's <laughs> hero point? You got a hero point. You said you're gonna do the stupidest <laughs> yeah. thing. I'm using it. Alright, yes, yes. Yes. Alright, here we go. Alright, re-roll. Oh, what was the total before you? It was it, it, it would have been nine. Okay, okay. Ten. Now I have eleven. Nice. Oh wait, can't have the ten, that kind of sucks. What'd you roll? Eleven. Total? Well, I mean well, eleven plus that would be fucking uh, 18. eighteen. That hits. Nice. Of course it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you watch as this this trail of cosmic <laughs> energy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, the 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 coyotes in the air like <laughs> <laughs> just changes trajectory. <laughs> Can I use extra effort to speed up how fast it comes towards? Why not? Everybody? Well, it's if it's gonna take like, for yeah. fucking ever to get here, yeah. I might as well pull it a little sure, faster. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a uh, roll and move object. See if it can hilarious. somehow resist. Oh how man. Ten. Ted, I rolled an eight, so. Nice. So, <laughs> it comes faster. Yes, it'll come. Oh, it comes faster, baby. What's the move <laughs> object rank? Uh, seven. Okay, give me one second. Fuck. <laughs> that, the dog emote with Jack got me. <laughs> got me so Super good. smash style whooping the sucks. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. If the moose lives long enough to get hit by this dog, everyone dies. <laughs> I'm ready just to dip, just because I want to see this happen. I'm pretty sure this is how the dinosaurs die. <laughs> I'm causing an extinction event. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's my goal here right now. My life is fucked, so now everybody's is. Because <laughs> I'm going to hit a moose with a coyote from space. Because I checked the table. 
as soon as it hits, you just zoom out and go silent. You just see the explosion. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do the, the complicated <laughs> math associated with the, the velocity. Yeah, yeah. The so so my, my question falling. is, do, does the fall damage that affects the coyote also inflict upon I the I will moose? say yes. However, with the caveat of the moose has to stay there for one turn. And so yeah. you have reduced the time of this coyote's impact <laughs> by one turn, or okay. not to one turn. Yeah. So if that moose moves, it w- you will miss. It's just gonna fucking crater. <laughs> yes. Uh, and and just and the get all over take. everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, but if you guys can keep the moose there for one turn, I will. I'll say that's that's fair enough. Fucking all right. I really I have to use extra happen. effort one more time to hold this right. fucking moose in place. Lacey, you have to hold the moose out. in place. Lacey's turn. She's gonna use her cosmic pull. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lacey's gonna take a shot at uh, Barrett. Oh okay. shit. She's going crazy, bro. Yeah, she is. Uh, oh my god. Uh, that's a <laughs> Kill her. 21 to hit. Ooh, hits me. She made a toughness roll. Fuck? Why is her gun so fucking good? 15. Is 15? that just regular gun? Damage. That's just regular. Shun. Guns are like good. It's kind of weird. Guns well, are like, like good. I mean, yeah. yeah, we never they used kill them a lot before. Of people. So. <laughs> guns don't kill. Yeah, guns and fall guns. damage are pretty fucking lethal. I mean, yeah. Yeah. apparently. All right, uh, Barrett, your turn. Okay. Yeah, I just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A shot comes oh. off and hits you right in the side, right yeah. in the arm. Ugh. Um, where am I? You're in front of this moose. <laughs> okay. Literally in the middle of this road, there's a dirt road here in front of the moose. To diagonal in front of you, next to it is. Uh, is Jordan pulling something <laughs> from the sky that you just uh, uh, and then uh, on the uh, next to Jordan is Arabella who just kind of like touched down okay um, so everyone's after, after everyone, everyone is right here okay well after spraying you with blood <laughs> yeah let's do a thing okay I'm gonna run away 30 feet okay. <laughs> I'm gonna whip around I'm gonna throw a flashbang and use extra effort to get my gun and shoot it with an explosive round oh uh, shit <laughs> wait hold on what <laughs> Okay. All right. Flashbang first. Everybody make a fortitude save. It is fortitude. I keep thinking it's dodge or fortitude. Dodge? Uh, it's dodge. Dodge. Oh, Everyone no. make a dodge. Hmm. All right. Uh, moves? Moves? Mm-hmm. Oh, he still has. Oh, no. He has 16? No, 15. Uh, it's, it's, it's six. The rank six. Okay. So oh, so. Uh, I got five. Okay, so you failed by three. Three degrees. <laughs> 21. You're good. So what's the degrees? Um, impaired is first. Okay, so it is impaired, it has a minus two. Okay, and um, what rank she? three is visually unaware. Yeah, so wait, immediately. Wait, 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 wait. Could I nullify it? Um, it is an explosion. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a damaging explosion. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I mean, I, I, guess, it, I guess it is an explosion, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, it's a great. I mean, I know I am a little preoccupied at the moment, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's your reaction, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah. You have to I'm... pick, though, because I'm doing that and the explosion. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Hmm. Right, because you shoot it and then it yep. fucking. Yeah. Or I could just nullify the gunshot. You can't do that. No? No. Oh, oh you mean like the, the explosive, explosive round? Yeah. Yes, you can do that. Mm. Uh, the flash would probably still go off. Unless, did you not pull the pen? You were just like, I'm going to make it explode with. Well, yeah, I'm making it explode by shooting. Well, I mean, like, I can okay. nullify, like, the gunshot. You could. Because it explodes in the chamber. Mm-hmm. It could just fucking make his gun jam or something. Uh, well, that's a little that's... much. That's, like, you'd have to see inside the gun to be able to, like, nullify. I'd say it's a little strong if you were just do that. Um, but but it's an explosive round. Yeah. So as the round hits, you could stop that explosion. Hmm. Hmm. Give it a shot. Fuck it. All right. So roll your breaking. explosive rank. Of your... Okay. 15. And Done. then roll your rank of your... Seven, eight, no, it's not okay. it. So you try, you, yeah. uh, you attempt, you like pull the coyote in, turn around, yeah. see that about to happen, try, but you're you're too preoccupied with the coyote, uh, and this goes off. You are completely blind. Blind, yeah. Just, oh, How long you. am I? Do I have to make saves or no? You have to make fortitude saves. Oh. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. And then the uh, and then shot. explosion yeah. goes off. So everybody make a dodge roll. Oh, no. uh, what's the rank? Would I? Five. Oh. Does that affect me dodging? No, I don't. Uh, I'm unaware. Oh no, sure it probably wouldn't for this in particular because you're oh, you setting are, it off with your. Oh, yeah, you are hindered, not. vulnerable. Yeah, so half defenses. Yeah, half. Your but defenses. would it? Would this particularly? 
do uh, that because he's I guess setting not, it off, I right? happening at once. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, so no. It would not affect this particular one. Okay. What are we doing, dodge? Yep, dodge. Ten. Ten? Nice. Uh, twenty. Okay, so and then 20. both of you make toughness rolls. Jordan against half the rain. Higher low for my my half is odd. Oh, uh, you're not half. You're good. Oh, you said half. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, against half she's my doing. Rank. Uh, oh, half his rank, not your rank. Oh, okay. You're, it's a normal roll for you. Oh, okay. Twenty-six. Twenty-one. Also, oh, they're, they're both fine. Yeah. Uh, Moose takes an injury. Nice. Oh, Moose is gonna take an injury. Good. <laughs> Better. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> is it dumb? It's gonna work. No, it's great. It's just <laughs> mega dumb. Too. All right, uh, the flashbang went off. Um, this shot explodes out fire, just <laughs> ripples around all of you. Uh, most of you are okay from it. The the moose a little badly singed. Uh, it's the moose's turn. Uh, you're all around. The question is, does it attack? Did you get blinded? No. You get impaired. Okay. It so. is it is visually in there. So it does affect ah, the senses. Okay. I like okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something real quick. The minus two. Okay. I will say that that roll presence or aware as a already has a minus one awareness in it. Um We all roll presence checks. It would normally have gone after you for antagonizing it, uh, but that blinding shot it, it can barely see. And kind of thinks maybe you're still in front of it and okay. sees Jordan and tries to attack you, Jordan. Okay. So it's going to attempt to just strike at you. Uh, 10. Does not hit. Nope. Tentacle. It's 11. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tentacle. Arabella, your turn. Uh, okay, well, this is going to suck for you guys. Um, <laughs> you are blind. Yes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was like. Good luck, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm also going to attempt to attack uh, whatever's in front of me. Right, so make an um, attack with minus five. Can I roll to decide what I'm attacking? Yeah, two. One, two, and then the moose is three. Okay, all right. He's 30 yards away, though. Oh, oh yeah, he's a. Oh, he's, you're right. Okay. Yeah, well, I so rolled one or two. moose anyway. Feet, yeah. All right. So I'll still attack have moose. Or try to anyway, even though I'm blind as shit. <laughs> so I'm just going with claws, like lunging out. Minus five, you said. <laughs> oh my god! I rolled well, a two, so nothing matters. You like? You're like, yeah. I got you now, and you rush forward and go like into the building beside him. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> it's like really unapologetic too. It's like yeah. with all of the force. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Part of the, like, like there was a giant hole where the moose charged before, and now there's like a smaller hole where you charge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Make oh wait, I make yeah the yeah. fourteen. Yeah, made a forty-two. Please. Uh, fourteen. Sixteen. Damn it! All right. Fuck. I'm still blind. I'm still yeah. blind. All right. Coyote's turn. <laughs> just pick it up speed. <laughs> Finally, Coyote. Right, toughness roll for the Coyote. Is he gonna be a fucking 14, a 30, a 29 fucking. Fuck, All right, how do you want it? <laughs> I want to kill Moose. Fuck. This is fucking incredible. So I'm so stupid. proud of myself. So dumb. I love it. Last hit Elias is back, baby. <laughs> no, um, shit. So, as everything is flashed out and our vision just fucked, the yeah, like, purple energy kind of like dissipates it quicker like than it normally would if I mm -hmm. wasn't cosmically empowered. And as I'm pulling this thing towards me, <laughs> almost, almost, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost like, Fuck. almost like a matador in a way, as it comes <laughs> in with this like fucking like <laughs> blinding velocity, <laughs> it comes in, things instantly kind of slow down for a second, and I just step aside yeah. Steve Jobs. and let it pass me. <laughs> yeah, the, we see like this slow motion. And the coyote 
goes through the massive frame of this moose. The moose kind of like turns in the direction of, of Jordan, and you we see that the coyote breaks through half of the antlers oh and goes God. literally like a like a bullet through the moose, leaving this this dog-sized <laughs> hole inside of the creature, oh <laughs> and it topples yeah. to the side, pushed like. I say like five feet back, which like doesn't sound like much, but like you know how heavy a fucking moose is yeah. and how dense it is. Uh, it just blood, fur, and eye core everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Smeared throughout. Oh, you don't even know where the coyote is right yeah. now. Like it's gone. It evaporated. <laughs> um, Jesus. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. It's a coyote sized, yeah, yeah, yeah. a one year old kind of puppy coyote <laughs> that you massacred. Which type of coyote is it? From what region? From New Hampshire, <laughs> the right, northeast. <laughs> it's a Sahara coyote. <laughs> All right. Uh, is Moose still? Next up, Jordan, your turn. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, your turn. What do you do? Sizzling crater. Um. <laughs> is Moose still up? Nope. There's still combatants up on the field. Ah. As the moose fucking explodes <laughs> next to me, I turn to um Barrett and I reach forward and create a black hole in my palm and. The gun in your hand starts to vibrate, and I'm gonna take it. What's what's ooh, ooh, okay. what's stronger, your Mjolnir or your black <laughs> hole? So make a range attack. See if you hit hit you in general. Oh, oh fuck! We're rolling bitch. trash uh, ten. Yeah, you, it shakes from your hand, uh-huh. like an inch out, and by your will, it just comes right back in. Yeah, it it does not care for the influence. Okay. Okay. Nice try, though. Okay. You do anything else, move or anything? Uh, and then I'll fly up. All right, okay. just like maybe like fifty feet ish or so. Okay, just like into like the the like lower canopy. All right. Uh, Lacey, is gonna step forward. Start walking towards the three of you with gun drawn. I'm up. I'm in the uh, cabin. T- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You're all still visible and within gun range. <laughs> uh, she's in trying to uh, Arabella. Ooh. You can try. Yeah, it's, it's a seven. yeah definitely. <laughs> Toughness? Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I got a pee. So bad. <laughs> 26. 26? Yeah. You're okay. Yeah. You see through the building. Yeah, through the hole in the building. Oh, wow. I think so. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, this shot <laughs> hits you right in the wing, but just glances right off. Mm-hmm. Barrett, your As it like goes through, it's like yeah. slimy, gross. Oh, uh, like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. <laughs> I, I, I kind of put the gun. I kind of put the gun down for a second, like like the butt into the ground, like lean on it. Yeah. Two levels of exhaustion. I yeah. just kind of. I just I look at Arabella. Mm-hmm. I'm going nuts in this cabin. I cannot see shit. <laughs> 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 okay, I look towards her. Um. Where's Lacey? She's like in the middle of like the campground. To her left is like a, a burning cabin. The fire is starting to spread mm-hmm. to uh, the cabins beside it, the other two, mm-hmm. um, throughout this fight. And she just has this rifle drawn. And she's, you see a shell pop yeah. out. Um, question. Um, can I, if my gun has an ability, can I use that ability in bike form? Hmm. Uh, sure. Nah, I would say I would say not because it becomes that vehicle's profile. Okay, that made, it depends on the ability too, I guess. I was thinking, what I was thinking of doing, which is perfectly okay if I can't, we'll fix it later. Yeah. Um, the ability deafening blast I have with my gun, where I just I shoot right next to someone just to make it loud. If I can make that like, like, you know how like it, when if you're on a motorcycle you can like make the engine like, mm. like pop. Yeah. Um, but if that has to be a separate ability, I would say like that is okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I think that's cool. Okay, I like that. Um, then I will bite form. I'll have, yeah, 
parts of my gun come oh, apart and yeah. change and form into a bike. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm gonna ride towards the Lacey. Okay. Um, and, and I guess that's all I would do for this turn, because that's action. Okay, yeah, you start driving towards Lacey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Arabella, your turn. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, okay. I assume I don't know that anything's been killed. <laughs> I, you, heard, you heard a massive impact. It smells Meteoric, bad. one yeah. would say. <laughs> can I... Can I... I don't know how... Just lashing out. You're completely blind right now. Yeah. Can I try to... Yeah, I guess I'll try to attack where the gunshot came from. In that general direction. Just like slash. There's nothing there. I shot a long while away. Yeah, I'm gonna like lunge out. Uh, okay. In the uh, general... Roll a d20 out of your presence. Okay. Five. Or awareness. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really bad anyway. 16. 16? Yeah. With the minus 5 and everything? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 11. Yeah, um, you just... You come out. We, we all see Arabella, like, out of the building now, just stumbling about, just yeah. slashing in this rage. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, make a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> Please! Oh, finally, I rolled an 18. All right, yeah, and your Get vision... The fuck. You know, you're slashing against the ground. There's like a, um, a signpost that you just rend. And, just <laughs> and finally your vision starts to fade back in. Everything's a little blurry, mm-hmm. um, but you're starting to see clearly now the rain is gone. Cool. Right. Uh, Jordan, your turn. Um, as I'm in the air, I kind of survey everything below. I see demon chick freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Um. Made up perception. Okay. Bam. Do we still have minus two? Eighteen. You do have minus two. Oh no! Uh, with the fire of these caverns being lit up, um, yeah, that penalty is not. I'm sorry. Eighteen. Yep. Uh, you start noticing a lot of this because now you're in the air and looking down. Uh, with the fire lighting everything, um, a lot of that black substance is starting to recede hmm. into the, the, the campground. It's starting to melt away almost. Okay. But there's still a lot of it. It's going to take some time before it's gone. But Yeah. Um. Hmm. I am going to... I'm going to fly down towards uh, Arabella. Okay, yeah. Touchdown right in front of her. Yeah. And I'm going to look straight at her. I'm going to be like, we have to leave this place now. I'm like seven feet like tall. Really tall. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, who are you? My name is Jordan. I'm going to keep you alive. You need to get out of here with me. <laughs> You're going to keep me alive. Well, I am some bad news for you. Um, I don't think you'll live to be able to do that. She just kind of like stands up taller and it looks like she's almost like stretching. Yeah. Wings. Yeah. yeah. Kerrigan style. <laughs> Not afraid of this thing inside you because I know who you are. Who I am. You hmm. have no idea who I am. But you will find out. Trust me. Anything else? I'm just going to wait. Okay. Uh, Lacey's gonna shoot. <laughs> shoot. Um, and she's just screaming out right now. Her voice is hoarse and and, and cracking. Um, and you can see, um, her her body is almost kind of failing itself. She's stumbling as she's walking. Um, Arabella, does a 10 hit your dodge? No. <laughs> Bullet goes wide. Almost hitting you too, Jordan. <laughs> it goes wide. Uh, okay, bear. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ride towards Lacey. And uh, I'm gonna try to grab her as I drive by her. Okay, make a, make a grapples, uh, unarmed attack. 
I'll say with a... No, no, you're fine. 12. 12? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that will hit her. It's not... I should need double charge. I'm positive that hits her, but... Yep, that hits. Okay. okay. Uh, make a strength against her. Uh, I'm going to use Grabbing Finesse to use my dex. Mm. Okay. 22. Eight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. easily grab her just right by the shoulder, and she's like writhing in your grip, trying yeah. to go towards where you're coming from. Yeah. So in, in like a fluid motion, what I want to do is like, as I drive by her, just like grab her and get her on the bike. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, she is on the bike now. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, Arabella. Uh, how far away are, are you? I mean, right now I'm wherever Lacey was. So. How far away is Lacey? So it's about eighty to hundred feet. Okay. Um, That's where you guys started this encounter. Uh, for a second, she's gonna like look over to the bike, and she's gonna look over back to Jordan. She's gonna, like keep up, and then she's gonna zoom up, zoom to the bike, and try to attack. Uh, okay. Barrett. Okay. Alright, make an attack on With With a uh, claw. Oh, he's about to turn. Oh, back. fuck. This fucking sucks. I like it. Uh. Yeah. You know what? No. That's a. Like a. Nine. <laughs> you watch it's like. You come in, and I think Barrett, you kind of just lay your weight back, and mm -hmm. it hits this mud, this patch of mud that just sprays out, causing you to ride back for a second in surprise, uh, uh, missing the attack. I am going to use extra effort, and I'm going to oh. try to make another attack against uh, Lacey. Ooh, okay. Just another claw. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Congratulations, this you killed her. This is that 20. <laughs> okay. That's not what I Damage total? really wanted, though. <laughs> well, oh, fuck. Do I add yeah, five? Yeah, you have to live with consequences of your actions. <laughs> huh? Do I have to add fire? You need to add an additional effect. Well, it already has poison. Uh, or an alternate effect, but I guess you already have one, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> That's 12. I was going to say you can make it non-lethal, but you probably wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, yeah. I definitely wouldn't. Yeah, you... Um, the mud <laughs> sprays out over here, and you, uh, in your anger, you just hit the ground again, and then surge forward once more, not expecting her to recover so fast. Um, uh, Lacey's right behind you, trying to, almost, like, trying to get off the bike, you're, you're wrestling with her on yeah. it, until you just see a clawed hand <laughs> out from oh. behind her, just through her side, like, oh. And pull right out, uh, and Lacey immediately falls unconscious. Oh, yeah. As a chunk, like a, a fist sized chunk, is just ripped out of her side. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I do have two levels of fatigue. Then, oh, and then poison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Uh, oh, which she's fine. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. She, like, opens one eye to take a look. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Jordan. As she bursts off and does that, I take off in the same direction mm -hmm. and catch up slightly faster. Yep. <laughs> yes, you do. One rank higher. You you <laughs> yep. dragon balls your way to her. Yep. Um. And then, um, as that happens, I catch up. So everyone's pretty much all in the same vicinity. Yes. Mm -hmm. She just got fucking eviscerated. Mm -hmm. Um, I face Barrett like leave now. I'm trying. Try harder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, I create another like ball of that energy in my hands, and I attack Arabella. Okay. Like, she rips a chunk out, and as soon as she does that, I talk to him, and then I bash her. Yeah, all right. And as you're going to act, she's, like, literally licking her claws. Oh. <laughs> so. Do it. You doing can it. probably hit. Oh, can I? <laughs> uh, 11. That's a no. Ooh, yeah. yeah Sorry, you, dog. You <laughs> move punch with this in uh, uh, empowered fist. <laughs> Crash, rated, uh, Arabella, you actually just dodge it, just... 
dodge to the side like, and just while lifting your claws, not even looking at you. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, Barrett, your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna use a, a full move action to increase the speed of my bike by one, so it's now rank seven. See you, bitch. Yeah, so you... I'm driving at 120 <laughs> miles an hour, going as fast as I can. Yeah, you go into the woods, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. As we, see, we watch as uh, Barrett's bike disappears into the darkness of the woods, away from the, the fire. He really said bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm, and I'm, when I'm able to, I'm going to start, try to drive towards town. Okay. So, like, circle around back towards, like, where we came. Yep. All right. Arabella, your turn. All right. After seeing, almost getting, you know, mega punched, uh, she's going to, like, carefully like stand up and like uh like mess with her almost like she's messing with her fingernails like mm -hmm. claws she's like all right well now that that's done it's your turn and she's gonna try to lunge at you with um a bite Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> PvP. PvP. And that's a uh, eight damage so and toughness assessment. Toughness roll. That is seventeen. And what's the damage? Eight. Yeah. Uh, so it's so two. Two degrees. Yeah. So you take one injury. Difference. You're dazed. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then make a make a deception roll. Deception? Uh-huh. Okay. It's just innately how assessment works. <laughs> Two. Uh, okay. Uh, so, is it... You roll a... a now you have to roll the assessment. Okay. But that's insight, right? Yeah. You have to pretend not to know Jordan's stats as they scroll across. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. You know, it's all for flavor. Uh, that's... You made me forget the number. Good. <laughs> Haven't we done this before? 21. <laughs> the last game <laughs> assessed a... Uh, so. Yeah, I, I, I like it? having deja vu. Right Twenty-one. Now. All right, you you get a lot. <laughs> you know his social security number. <laughs> you get stats. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, wonder what they're. <laughs> yeah, she she takes a chunk out of your, like almost your neck. Mm -hmm. Like you're able to pull just away to avoid like like a major puncher, mm -hmm. but uh, you just watch as Arabella jumps on you and rips off part of your flesh. Hmm. And uh, doesn't do it. No, I, I, I imagine it doesn't. She's like chewing it very loudly too. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, Jordan, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna fucking hit her again. Retaliate! God damn it! <laughs> Bam! How nice. about that fucking oh, yeah, shit? Definitely hit. Uh, twenty-seven. That hits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Toughness. What's the damage? Uh, good question. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. Uh. Is that one? Yeah, so she just makes it. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you punch. Your punch connects. Um, but she kind of just blocks it both of her hands. Just, and she's she's okay, as you see that black fibrous material form uh, to lessen the blow. Mm. And she's, like, smiling and looking, like, directly into your eyes while you yeah, It is quite her. terrifying. As, as also to the side, three cabins are burning to the ground with all this black substance, all these tendrils just <laughs> starting to, like recede a bit, but also concentrate, like, around you guys. Uh, yeah, it's messy. Alright. Barrett. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drive about, like, a mile out okay. and stop. Um, and I'm gonna turn towards the direction I came from and take my gun out and look through the scope. Okay. try to... <laughs> See if I can see either. Yeah, uh, made a perception roll. 24. Yeah, with, you can see, like, with it, with your scope in particular, you can see, like, the glow of the burning cabins. Mm -hmm. And you can just, you know, you're trained for this. You can faintly make out the two figures. Okay. I'm going to take an aim action at the taller figure. Okay. All right. Arabella, your turn. Um... When Jordan goes to like punch, she takes the punch and she like kind of like takes out her claws and just like goes for the face. Okay. Go for bro. Go for. Oh my god. Well, I rolled a natural 18. That's okay. sorry. All right, toughness. 
It's uh, okay, he's the tank. It's true. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> um, oh, no. 12? Uh, total 12? Seven. Oh, okay. Seven. You're still up. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, and that's it has five, poison. 22. So, uh, is it 12? So, mm-hmm. Two. So you take another another injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing else. And then, what is it, fortitude save? Yeah. All right, I made a fortitude save. And a seven. A 17 to... 13. 13, so, so one injury. So. so that's vulnerable. All right, half your defense. You watch as uh, Claws was? Claws, yeah. Yeah. Um, slashes out your arms. You block... You know, you're able to, like, okay, this is gonna suck, this hurts, but, like, I'll be okay. And then you feel that burning mm-hmm. inside, and, uh, your muscles start to stiffen up, and it's harder to move around now. <laughs> Jordan, your turn. Um, as I start to feel, like, my muscles beginning to tense, um, I look around me, and I... <laughs> I see that mangled pile of animal parts, and I reach into like the like air, I guess, into and space. yeah, kind of, <laughs> and create another like black hole in my hands. And I'm reaching for one of the dislodged antlers, mm. and I'm gonna pull the antler to me. Nice, I like that. That's okay, cool. uh, yeah, roll a range attack against her. I imagine you're trying to hit her with it. Yeah, I, yeah. So- well, I kind of wanted to grab it and like. Improvised weapon. Oh like yeah, you can do that. Uh, Meta, Meta. Oh, you are dazed. You are dazed. Mm. So you can pull it to you, uh, but to make an attack, because that's gonna cost yeah, an action. Right. Um, so you can definitely do that. You uh, make a range attack. It's gonna be pretty low against the antlers, but yeah. in case. Nice team. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you watch as it, all these mangled antlers. You pull off like a decent chunk and form this like spike club. Nice. So you mm. Pull it and get ready to attack. Okay. Um, and then get shot in the back. Of the <laughs> I'm, going to, yeah, I'm going to use an all-out attack. Okay. Oh. Um, with my aim. Oh yeah, you could. Oh, you could do that. You could do that. You do you have to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Um. So I'm, yeah, I'm just aiming, um, and I'm going to say just for flavor, like the chamber of my gun just starts to glow, mm. nice. like vibrate a little as I'm aiming, and I'm just going to let it go. Okay. Nice. <sighs> All right, roll the hit. Do it. Twenty-three. Yeah, that's his. Yeah. <laughs> What's the damage? Uh, it's gonna be twelve. Damn! Oh, yeah. Damn. Holy shit! All I don't right. know if I could roll myself out of that one. Not oh, maybe no. You totally can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I only have eleven. Twenty-six. All right, that's one injury. It's an injury. Yeah, it's this bullet. Uh. It looks like Arabella's coming to attack you, like an opening was made as mm-hmm. you were pulled to get the club, and you're like, ah, your muscles just won't move fast enough, and as she comes in, a bullet <laughs> hits her in the arm, uh, and makes her spiral back for a second, this powerful shot mm-hmm. into you. Um, your turn, Arabella. I like, kind of look in the direction that it came from, not really like- It's like behind very, Jordan. Yeah, just very big, and I kind of like hiss, mm-hmm. um, and uh, um, I'm going to try to grapple Jordan. Hmm. All right, made an unarmed attack. That's just fighting, right? Yep. Oh my! Well, that's not full twenty. I don't know. If that uh, does. That doesn't really. That doesn't. Yeah. Much over here. Okay, yeah. so make a strength roll so against your or, or strength or um, agility okay. against your strength. Okay. You have to hit him, and now you. Oh have right, to right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, uh, strength? Yep. So it's a total? 20. 20? Ooh, nice. Yeah, 17. All right, yeah. You grab onto Jordan, uh, but you're not expecting the, the sheer strength that fuels Jordan right now, mm-hmm. and you see that flash of cosmic energy just poof, burst out, and you're repelled. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to... I'm just gonna like fly around and just kind of like so you surge upward. Okay. Yeah. Jordan, your turn. Um, I'm gonna follow after her with a club. <laughs> and, Get out. Yeah, and fucking smack the demon with Damn the fucking okay. hammer club. Uh, yep. I didn't ahead. know we were playing D and D tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Fucking demon. This with very the club. is very. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a flying monk. Like, How? 
I'm sorry. I'll do this after when you're. That's good. It's a. It's a. Basically, like a improvised weapon. Yeah. So, on arm plus one. Uh, you have you the have thing, right? Uh, improvised. You have improvised. Weapon. Uh, do I? I don't think I do. I did on Elias. I don't actually. On oh, that's what you had on Elias. Uh, let me check real quick. Roll chat. What are the stats of a it, piece it be of a clone? Plus, it would be your strength plus two. Okay. Nice. For the damage. So it adds two damage. Does a. Uh... Nice. Oh. Does. I'm sorry, really quick. Does Vulnerable do anything to his. For me, for grappling, or no? That's just pure strength. No, that was to hit. Okay. And does. Oh, so it's just it's just your fighting. Okay. Uh, that's uh, you don't add your close combat skill. Uh, that's only if you have the advantage. Right now, you just add your rank in fighting. Okay. Add it, it to to hit. To hit. All right. So your D twenty plus your fighting. I mean, you could. Yeah, you probably got this. Probably. Yeah. Nice. Twenty two. That hits. All right. Toughness. Uh yeah. Uh twenty six. Twenty six. Uh, what's, your... what's your strength? Uh, six. So eight. Uh, yeah, so you resist. Okay. So you crap, you see pieces of this antler splinter and fall off. Um, you connected, uh, but it wasn't enough. It scrapes into uh, Arabella's skin, but whatever she's made of is not something you're familiar with, and it's tough. Mm. Does, um, is, I don't have it written, but is poisons just for that first attack, right? Or is it? Uh, I guess you would make you now you would make a um, fortitude. fortitude yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, it was just the first rank, right? Yeah. So, so you're fine. Okay. That's okay. the way we play. We do it. if it's the first rank, yeah. it ends up. Okay. The first I had rank. an 18 anyways. Yeah, yeah I wasn't right. sure. Yeah, you're but you feel even though you got that hit, you feel like you're trying to like work through whatever is running through your system and you're kind yeah. of limbering up. We could, getting fired up as you're fighting. Yeah. Nice. For flavor, we could even chalk that up to the regen. Yeah, there nice, you go. Yeah. There you go. I like it. Barrett, these creatures are now flying. Whoa! Whoa. Can I still see them? Take a shot. Uh, yeah. Dude, I glow yeah. when I fly. You can oh, yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I glow purple when I fly. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to use a hero point to oh. recover without using my action. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to heal. that breath. I'm, I'm going to heal one of my levels of exhaustion. And then I'm going to, um, I have Lacey kind of like up against a tree, um, and I'm just going to aim again at, uh, at Arabella. Okay. All right. Arabella, your turn. Um, I'm going to kind of look at Jordan and say, let's take this fight to your other friend, and I'm going to, like, as I'm going like past him, I'm going to use a tail strike on him. Doesn't hit. I rolled a three. <laughs> trying to just like, eh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna like fly my full direction. movement to whatever direction, yeah. How fast? What's your movement speed? What's your rank? Four. Okay. I don't know how fast. <laughs> it's gonna take a while yeah. to get over to. And s trying to find right. him is going to be a whole other venture. For yeah. You. That's fine. Okay. Jordan, your turn. Thanks, okay. Um, as she like tries to lash at me and go in the opposite direction, I'm like, ah, uh -uh, no, you don't. And I'm gonna <laughs> try to pull her nice. like basically right. in place. Nice. Make a range attack. Uh, what am I adding to that? <laughs> uh, under your skills, to your range. What are you your using? Depths, plus if you oh use yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I mean, I guess am I? If it's like, me? uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do one. that. Um, eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Make a. Roll move object, your rank. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then you roll strength. strength. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> natural one. Alright. 21. Yeah, immediately <laughs> pull right it's back so... to, to place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gripped by this invisible yeah. force. Definitely not expecting it. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I just try to sustain that hold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 500 feet a turn is, is cool. Quick. All right. Thank you. Uh, Barrett, your turn. Take yeah. that shot. Yeah, now's your chance. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, true. Um, fucking make Jordan burden or carry more fucking burden. 
Okay. Make me be the one to hold her in place when you kill her. Oh no, this is gonna be a, a special beam cannon. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Shoot right through her and to, into you. And, yeah. Right, yeah, we're we both go. this problem. That'd be kind of dope, though, honestly. That would be kind of dope. That would power attack. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, All right, I think I'm out. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I aimed too, so I'm doing math in my head. Mm -hmm. So, the aim makes a plus five to hit, but power attack makes a minus five to hit, so it's base to hit. Yep. Okay. okay. And then plus five damage. Correct. Twelve to hit. To hit? For your dodge. For, yeah, that just hits. <laughs> okay. Ooh, and then nice. twelve damage. Toughness. All right, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. You're grasped. Yeah. Am I? She You're... still gets hit anyway. Mm. Yeah. Does that... But... That doesn't. Does that make me? No, because you're not I'm grappled. You're pulled. not considered grappled. Yeah. She's pulled in your yeah. direction. Mm. Uh, I think. I yeah, mean, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect this. Well, there are parameters to that. I think that. You works. know. Because this would like determine whether or not she's either impaired or defenseless. Mm Because if she's defenseless and you just shot her, she's defenseless. Not, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So it's uh, it's um, it's not like a grab as in like the grab action where you're holding right. onto them. It's right. like a, it's a grab, pull, let go. That's mm -hmm. how it works. Um, so it doesn't affect her defenses. I mean, she gets hit anyway, so it, it wouldn't. Even if she was grappled, it wouldn't affect her toughness. That's not how it works. So, what'd you roll for toughness? Uh, I mean, I only rolled a three. I'm debating. You know what? No. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna need hero point. All right. Three roll. It's all the hero points. Yep, that's all. Oh, all, all, the, all the points. Okay, that's a twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Okay. So, oh yeah. 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 I, it takes a lot, uh, but both of your wings fly forward, surge as this bullet pierces right through them and, and still hits you. Yeah. Uh, you just see, uh, you can hear this like yeet scream inside like this cocoon she made for herself. Uh, like it fucking hurt, but mm -hmm. it opens back up and Arabella seems able to fight still. And then I will use extra effort to turn my gun back into a bike and get me and Lacey on it. Dip. Okay. <laughs> So, Arabella, your turn. All right. Oh my fuck. Ah! <laughs> uh, you definitely hear, you definitely hear like a screech come out. Um, very short, but still pretty loud. And she's and when she unfurls her wings, she lunges at you with her teeth. Uh, sixteen. 22. No, 20. Sorry. Does that hit? Yeah. So. Alright, <laughs> toughness roll. Cool. What have we got? Six. Six total. What's the damage? Eight. Um, I think that's still good. Uh, yeah, how much you said? Six? Eight. Eight. Just out. That's fine. It's 24. Six. So, yeah, you're down. You watch this. She, this, like, that hit, that bullet was like the final, like, okay, that has to work kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it didn't has you so stunned that she took a sniper round, like a direct sniper round. It was okay. And she just turns around and hits you right in the neck and pulls. And blood spews out as you watch as Jordan's light fades and he drops. That doesn't feel good. I mean, it does to her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Jordan, you are falling. Uh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Coyote 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Your body catches fire. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. You see the ghost of a coyote cat. <laughs> like, how does it feel? No. A second moose forms. <laughs> you see the ghost of your enemies. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Barrett, your turn. This feels bad. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, pee. I can't see them and then anymore. She's gonna lunge at, 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 like towards okay. the direction she was going. I'm not after. looking in my scope, so I don't know what's happening. So I, oh, yeah. I have okay. reset my bike and I full speed back to town. Okay. Um, as uh, Arabella, you yeah. are flying forward. Um, you feel. You feel you you stop mm-hmm. in this moment, mm-hmm. and something is calling to you back from where you just came from. Turn a moment, and you can see the the, the fire down below. You see Jordan's body mm-hmm. fall past uh, treetops um, since you're that far away, so you mm-hmm. can't see what happened mm-hmm. to Jordan's body. But from over there, uh, that black substance is still. And you hear. Get over here right now. And your body feels compelled. Make a will save. Oof. That's a 10. No, yeah, yeah. You feel compelled. All right. I make my way, like, begrudgingly. Yeah, I just tugged into the air. And as you start flying towards, um, you can see faster and faster. This, These tendrils are all but gone. Mm-hmm. As now this black tar is seeping into the center of the campground. And beside it, you see uh, somebody holding Jordan as we fell and kind of place them aside Mm -hmm. and you stand and you see to you you don't really recognize them just this older gentleman Mm -hmm. uh, slightly darker complexion he's wearing um, just all black he has this uh, lawn jacket Mm -hmm. on he uh, it's kind of hard to make out a lot of the faint features mm-hmm. of him through all you have is the, the burning blaze beside. It feels hot next to you. And he's holding what looks to be a rosary in mm-hmm. his hand. And it's that call is resonating from it. So that's what I'm like being drawn mm-hmm. to. Yeah, and you're forced to touch down. Mm-hmm. Every step that I take is like like you just almost hear like this low like curdling growl like coming from like every step that she takes forward he looks over and says how much of this mess is yours well I guess you could say quite a bit of it maybe all of it maybe you're next I heard that before looks down at Jordan's body You will return. And you're going away. We don't need you. I've tasted blood. You can't keep me away. And you hear, I think I can. And you see a young woman step out from the other end of the the forest dressed in some sort of black garb, this veil over her face. You see some blonde hair kind of trickling out. You will go back. And you will give her back. It is not yet your time. It's always been a matter of time. And it still will be my time very soon. Clock keeps ticking. And you just get weaker and weaker every time. She reaches out her hand, and immediately your body <laughs> pulses down. Uh, make another will save. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one? And you resist this urge to just be pulled to the ground. Mm-hmm. And you stand back up. She I told you you're weak. (laughs) 
This body's mine now. Whatever you had before, it's gone. I wonder about that. I think there's something you need to understand, creature. She steps forward. Faith. That's a very empowering weapon. And here steps from behind us. The gentleman starts to kind of pins her around you. Mm-hmm. And she reaches out towards, as the fire casts, towards your shadow. Mm-hmm. And as she rips, kind of clenches her fist, you see the shadow start to bend. Mm-hmm. Uh, make a fortitude save. Ten. Ten. You feel your skin Mm -hmm. begin to pull off with your shadow. And your body's tugged. Mm -hmm. Your faith is is what's going to get you killed. You can push me away all you want, but I will be back and I will kill you and I will take your life. Duly noted. Silence. Cut to uh, you have Lacey on the back of your bike, just bleeding, trailing, messing up your seat. Yep, dying. Ah, shit. This One mistake. Take. All right, uh, I'm heading towards my house. Okay, all right. Of course, get that sandwich. <laughs> if I eat the sandwich, everything will go back to normal. <laughs> 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 I, oh, you, actually, hard breaks. And she goes flying <laughs> off the back of the bike. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to go back to my car. Okay, so my car was parked in the woods. Okay, so I get. I get to the car, load my gun, and put Lacey into the car, mm-hmm. and then start driving towards my house. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, make a medicine roll. Are you trained or treatment? Excuse me. Uh, I have jack of all trades. Oh yeah. Mm, okay. Nice. Uh, medicine or treatment? What did you say? Treatment. treatment. Okay. Eight. She's looking rough. Okay. Do you um, have some? Can I can I notice if there's any of the black gunk on her? Yeah. Um. You don't see any. Okay. As far as you as from a cursory glance. Okay. Uh, Make investigate roll. Well, you put points into that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Whoa. Yes, you don't. You do not see any, as okay. far as you do. You can closely check the wound. Now, yeah. start driving, and it takes more time than you would like. Um, it feels late. You you arrive okay. at your home. All right. Your your upholstery on the back seat of your car is disgusting. Yeah. It's mud and blood. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna carry her inside with my stuff. Um, two trips, whatever. Um, first thing I'm going to do is open my laptop. Okay. And just space bar. Yeah. <laughs> you see um, a figure of a familiar one. You've seen it before, but mm-hmm. black haired woman. Yeah. Porcelain white skin. Sorry. Mr. Stare. Please wait a moment yep. for your appointment. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Stare, what is this? I I make sure that the they can see Lacey that have like yeah. sit, sitting in a chair. Arabella, it happened. What happened? She changed. This girl here is one of her victims. Also the victim of something else that's happening in this town that I tried to tell you about earlier. Is she dead? Not yet. She came into contact with some sort of fungus that controlled her. I think it's gone now. Regardless of that, Arabella. Yeah. Where is she now? In the woods. You left her? A few miles out. 
I tried to take her out. This, this thing, and I point towards Lacey, was getting in the way. In the way. Corrupting the wildlife of the forest, making it extremely hard to do what I'm supposed to do. You must establish contact. Once again. We need to know where Arabella is. I'll find her. See that you do. And that distraction behind you. Make sure it cannot distract you anymore. Understand, Mr. Stare. Yes, I understand. And if I find Arabella and she's back to normal? Proceed with your original mission specifications. Monitor. All right, we'll do. Mr. Stare, is there something you're not telling us? Any details you omitted? There was someone else there. Jordan, the man I told you about. And what of him? Last I saw him, he was in a struggle with Arabella. Shame. Confirm his status as well. I will. Very good, Mr. Stare. See that the mission is not compromised as a result of your distraction tonight. Yeah. I'll report back. We will wait. Just close the laptop. I turn back to Lacey and pick her up, take her outside. Yeah, she's like on your bed. Uh, pale as can be. Breathing is very light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you bring her outside. Can I do like, can I do like a cursory treatment or medicine? Try and like. I say now that you're at home, <coughs> yeah. you have more like first aid tools and everything. You mm-hmm. Stuff okay. her with socks. Yeah. <laughs> you take the meat the from your sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sandwiches. Put a Cornish right. game hen in the <laughs> hole. Uh, Will it be treatment or medicine? Yeah, treatment. Your there is no medicine. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you freak. This isn't D&D. You're right. <laughs> Treatment in D&D. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Seems out of your element. Okay. Damn it. Um, That's no good. I kind of, I'm like standing outside by my car, just like holding her for a minute. Yeah. It's um, like trying to decide what to do. Yeah, and there is, yeah, this, this girl is just dying in your arms. Mm. Um, yeah, I think um, I'm going to walk with her to the back of my house and lay her down on the ground and just take out my knife. All right, yeah. You have the knife. Yeah. I'm just going to cut her throat. As you as you move the cut, um, you see something move beside you. You hear a shh. I stop and do it. I look. Please. And you see a white ferret. Oh my god. At, looking I, at you. I, just, I look at it, I'm just like, it's not now. Like, patters over right beside Lacey. Looks at her and back up at you. What? And looks at the knife. I'm not happy about it. Looks back at Lacey. I mean, look at her. What am I supposed to do? She looks at you. <sighs> Judging you silently. <laughs> you know, you're a real pain in the ass sometimes. Put the knife away. It takes a knife in it. <laughs> <sighs> Pick up Lacey. Walk back towards the car. Mm-hmm. You coming? Runs back yeah. into the into the car. I'll put her in the back seat and start driving this down. 
Okay. I'll let you guys make the roll. Roll d20. I'll tell you what to add. <laughs> See if Lacey lives. Oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I can't. I'll roll bad. We all have been rolling bad. This sucks. Yeah, yeah. I don't want this to happen. I mean... <laughs> I'm kind of knocking on Death's door here. I'll mm-hmm. try to see if she's coming too. She doesn't have any bonuses. Oh, so just a straight D20. Fuck. What's the parameter? Higher than, higher than what survives? That's for me to know. Oh, no. I'm going to write it down so nobody thinks I put any, you know, oh. bullshit shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, I hate All right. this. Give me one second. How about you can write it down? <laughs> um. Oh, I hate this. Show the camera while I roll. I won't look up. I'll read the number okay. out loud to you. Yeah, uh, let me write it somewhere else then. I don't want to. I wrote it on a bad thing. So. Uh, <laughs> I wrote it on a bad thing. <laughs> Spoil stuff. Uh, no, I got it. Uh, do you... I hate this. This sucks. Let me just determine <laughs> it. No, it's my fault, but I'm going to blame you if she dies. It's <laughs> your fault. <laughs> All right, don't. Please do not look at the. I will not scream. All right, ready? (gasps) Nine. Oh. Oh. (laughs) (gasps) As you're driving, um, the ferret is in the back seat. Mm -hmm. And uh, you arrive at the urgent care very late. And you get out, open the back seat, and immediately when you grab Lacey, her, her red hair spills out over your arm, and she feels old. She didn't make it. And you felt this plenty of times when you were deployed. Yeah. Okay. The, the ferret is... The ferret is just looking at Lacey and then back at you and then you see like the ferret kind of like rest its nose against her forehead for a moment and then like back up and I kind of look at the ferret and I'm like I tried and we gotta walk into the urgent care with Lacey right. she feels bad we, as you walk in the door shut we fade and Jordan you swimming in the murky blackness of unconsciousness so the beam of light Puts you out from a haze. Mm. And you feel soft sheets under you. Everything feels stiff. Okay. <laughs> and hurts. Your vision starts to come back. And you find yourself in a bed. <laughs> this nondescript room, familiar, small, just has a bed and it desk side with a bureau, mm-hmm. small closet. Um, it's like one of the the room the, the, the room you last stayed in at the compound. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, my body, what condition am I in? Time to look down. You realize that you're not wearing your clothes. Yeah. You're wearing um, uh, these like Really, like uh, lawn sleeve, like it's it's a little too large for you. Like it's lawn black shirt. You you recognize it as one of Brother Lewis's right. um, sort of attire, like just like black shirt. Um, it kind of hangs low over there. Um, you have sweatpants on, um, and your entire like left side is bandaged, like from arm down up, and it's wrapped around your neck. Mm-hmm. Um, there's various other bandages around you. You got the anime like tape around the like, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> um, One eye. <laughs> yeah, you um wait up to that. Am I alone? Mm-hmm. Um 
my eyes like dart around the room. Um, is there a clock? Uh, yeah, I'll say there's a clock on the bedside. It's like an old, like, analog yeah. clock. Uh, what time is it? Right now, maybe like 1 p.m. Oof. What day is it? You don't know. Um, Your phone isn't around or anything. I try to sit up. Like, I try to, like, slide back on my elbows and kind of, like, push myself up. Okay. You're up. Um, I, I call, well, actually, is, is my door closed? Um, there's, like, this bend around it you can't see the door it's like it's t- not a hallway but like a tight like uh, yeah. corner yeah, yeah. I think. yeah. Corner so it's like the, the last like yeah. door at the end of the hall and yeah so yeah. you don't know yeah um i as i kind of try to sit up in bed and struggle to um i call out like hello hey is there anybody here we cut away arabella you're You remember being in the woods. Mm -hmm. And you remember coyotes. You remember Barrett, Jordan, Lacey. Things get a little hazy after that. It was a little loud. You can fix that. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's better. And from then on, you are waking up almost like from a bad dream early in the morning as you usually do inside the dorms you see your familiar room around what do you do do I feel like hurt like am I sore or you feel pretty good okay like like you get a, a well rested sleep. Okay. And you feel kind of like, ah, oh, all right, all right. You take on the whole day, the whole world, even. Okay, so I get up and I kind of, um, immediately before I even get out of my pajamas, um, uh. Hmm. I look outside my door and kind of like peek out to see if anyone's there and I look at the time. Is this still like early early like like how you said the normal time I get up? Mm-hmm. Um and I kind of like look confused as I like get ready and I'm like taking my clothes out and like immediately I'm looking for uh sister or mother Adele. Yeah. Yeah, you get up and uh everyone's going about doing their own thing per usual nothing out of line you have to go into the faculty building Mm -hmm. once more and um you see getting ready for the service for that morning uh is mother adele inside of the large um uh, lecture hall Mm -hmm. where service is usually held uh i try to get like around like to pull her aside Um, yeah it's not hard people are talking to her Mm -hmm. but you can you can like pull her aside if you need to. Yeah. She's like telling people like, all right, um, pull the seats from storage room A. I think that'll work. And uh, oh, child, you're awake. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, have have you seen Barrett or Jordan or Lacey? Hmm. Uh, your friend uh, Barrett, Mister Stare, I have not seen. Uh, Jordan is in our uh, in the dorms. Oh. It seems as though, well, I don't know if you recall, but yesterday him and Mr. Stare decided to uh, brave the forests in search of that terrible creature. And uh, I think uh, Mr. Teller, well, didn't fare too well for him, but fortunately... Through his mercy, he is stable. Stable? What? Uh, I'm... 
I'm sorry. Um, I remember they were going out, and I remember we were there. Where? He's... Can I see him? Where is he? He is... They're hurt? He's resting now, child. Perhaps you should wait until he is... Um, he has more energy. Okay. Where was... Where was I? Did you see me last night? You were I... here, child. I was... You're acting a bit strange. I... I just... I mean, I... I'm... I think you were lost in one of your writing fits again. I guess so. I don't... I feel like I just don't remember. I remember them... in the woods. Hmm. I was here, though. You saw me. Naturally. I don't know why you would be out in the woods so late at night. You're right. Child, okay. take your seat. Beginning service soon. She's like still trying to like comprehend everything and like mm -hmm. very out of her yeah, normal. And, and like... Mother Adele just kind of just guides you, mm -hmm. and seats you down, mm -hmm. or sits you down, and, and kind of just gives you this you know, her usual warm mm -hmm. smile, and then goes back up to the podium. As she does this, I want to look around for like uh, for Olivia. Okay, made a perception roll. Uh, uh, 22. 22? Yeah. Uh, you don't see her here. Okay. Confident that you've looked everywhere. Uh, she's doing her, I don't want to be here in the morning. Right. I'd rather be in bed. I just kind of sit, like, a little sulking, like, still trying to, like, I'm, like, kind of writing in my notebook, like, okay, throughout, like, my whole day. Mm-hmm. And just kind of like, still trying to piece stuff together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Barrett. Mm -hmm. You had to leave the body in urgent care. Mm -hmm. Doc Hal, assuring you that he will handle preparations and inform the family. Yeah. He asks you what happened. Yeah, I tell him we went out to hunt the bear. And we got it, but. Hmm. Izzy didn't make it. He says it's okay for you to be dispatched. So, mm -hmm. can you go back home that night? Yeah, like, I'm, before I, like, drive home, I'm just gonna, like, have a cigarette and lean against my car. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, on the roof of your car is, uh, is, the, is Bowie. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one hell of a night, guy. Not your buddy guy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sniffs the air as some of the smoke hits Bowie's face and just shakes. Where do you go when you're not with us? Just kind of looks off into the distance. Hmm. Want to go back to my place tonight? Not being, you know, the cold. Crawl down your shoulder. Just gonna get into the car. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that morning? And same stuff. Eat my sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, but besides that, uh, I'm gonna call the church. Okay. The number that I have for the church. Yep. All right. <laughs> um, you hear someone pick up. You hear empty room inquiry compound. Uh, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Barrett Stair. May I talk with Mother Adele? Oh, Mr. Stair, yes, of course. Oh, give me one moment. Mother Adele, Mother Adele. You can hear Sister Miriam go off and a few minutes later. Mr. Stair, oh, what a pleasure to speak with you. I'm... It's fortunate that you are okay. Yeah, um, I... Look, I just called to tell you that, uh... uh the bear won't be a problem anymore. But, um, unfortunately, uh, Lacey, the young girl that was with us, she didn't make it. I, uh, I brought her to the, uh, urgent care in town. But, uh, she's in Doc Howell's care now, but, um, she, uh, fortunately didn't survive. 
a pause. That is very tragic, Mr. Stair. I know no matter how many trials one goes through in life, seeing something like that is taxing mentally and emotionally. So if you need anything from us here, please do not hesitate to reach out. Yeah, uh, thanks for the offer. I am. Um, I'm. I'm relatively new to town. I don't know if she has family, but um, I figured. I figured you would uh, would know and know who to call. And... Of course, um, if Doctor Hal has not reached out already, um, I will be doing so anyway to the family. Okay. Um, maybe I'll take you up on the offer. Maybe I'll be by soon. Good. Yes, uh, we are used to speaking of matters such as this, so we would certainly be an ideal choice to speak with about it. And, um, have you heard from Arabella or Jordan? Of course, Arabella's here. Jordan, uh, Mr. Teller is here as well. And they're both okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you for your time. I don't want to... I don't want to bother you anymore. Of course. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll see you later. I hope so, Mr. Teller. Please, uh, try to remain in good spirits. Will do. I'm going to hang up. Okay. Um, as soon as I hang up, I'm going to I'm gonna take out the other phone that I have. Mm. I'm just going to look at it. Mm. Tap on the button. Yeah. You see that, that black triangle app open up, and you see your name appear on it just my name yep and it looks like you can add contacts but it's strange whenever you tried adding phone numbers to it before you like to type in the numbers type it in and it just deletes itself as if it gets part way through the process and then stops can i try to add a name yeah nothing you can add it to the normal contacts on the phone yeah but under this app which has a list of your contacts nothing like it doesn't transfer over or anything The day goes on, reaching closer and closer to Jordan's awakening. Arabella, you're sort of kind of like a ghost moving through the halls, kind of just getting your job done. Mm -hmm. Um, And as you're moving through, um, you're in the faculty building and you kind of just find yourself wandering just a little bit and you find yourself the staircase the staircase leading up to the second floor and somebody is standing on top like above the floor above you mm-hmm. and you just kind of see his feet and you see these like really nice dress shoes with this um, this purple suit uh, with like gold trimming along mm-hmm. and as you kind of like move your hand up you see this um dark skinned individual covered in jewelry wearing this open dress coat uh, looking like nothing you've ever seen in Arcadian Haven something you've mm-hmm. seen in Olivia's magazines uh, like the fashion magazines yeah. and whatnot through there um, this man uh, you see the gold chain uh, um, uh, earrings kind of connected throughout through his fingers you see the like, gold webbing uh, of metal this man looks over some gold chains along and he leans against the, the rail and he says uh, you look confused I am a little bit I'm sorry I don't think we've ever met before and he, he steps down a few steps and gets onto uh, equal level with you he has mm-hmm. to step a couple steps below uh, to eye to eye and he yeah. looks down he says no, I do not believe we have met. What is your name? Arabella. I, like, kind of hold out my hand. She grabs it, shakes it. Beautiful name. Thank you. And yours? I must say, and he takes another step up. That was quite a night. A n- night? Last night? <laughs> what other night shall I be talking about? Maybe the one at the pawn shop. 
or the storm. Very exciting nights. Yeah. The only thing is, I, I was, I was here last night. It wasn't that exciting. He furrows his brow. Steps back down onto your level. Mm-hmm. I cannot stay here for very long. This place is. Mm, I don't very much like it. Not that your home isn't lovely, but I get a. Uh, would you say a bad vibe? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Um. Where? You, how do you know about those knights? How come you can't stay here? I want to tell you more. All of you. I think you have earned it now. If you truly want to know, gather them. Um, uh, yeah. And you will bring them tomorrow night to the theater. The theater? Oh, yes. This Orange Crest Cinema. I think that would be a fine place to meet. It is a bit dangerous there. Dang. But early enough to where I think you will fare quite well. And I will give you answers. What do you mean it's dangerous? I don't think we can... I don't think we should do any more dangerous things. <laughs> it's a bit too late for that, and you are in the wrong place to avoid danger. What do you mean? I will tell you. Meet me at the cinema. Start stepping down. I never got your name. My name is Raj. Tell Mr. Teller I said hello, and I hope to see him. Okay. Um, it was nice to meet you. And just waves you off and he walks around the corner down the second flight of stairs. Just kind of like shake my head like, oh, still not sure if that actually was real or not. Mm-hmm. And um, I just continue like walking around by myself. Mm-hmm. Eventually, throughout the day, um, you return back to your dorms, and you hear a voice down the hallway. Is anyone there? And you hear Jordan Teller at the end of the hallway. Uh, as soon as I hear him, I, like, bolt up, mm-hmm. and I, like, take a peek first to see if, like, I see Mother Adele or anyone. Make do a perception roll. Ah, ten. Ten? Yeah. Um, you don't see, see, see right. anyone else. You're kind of focused on moving forward. You move down the hallway, and uh, the door is cracked open, and you open it to mm-hmm. to see Jordan. Uh, hey. Are you... What happened? I immediately, like, run up to you, and I'm like, what happened last night? What did you guys do? <laughs> he, like, kind of starts laughing, sort of, and cringes a little bit at the, the pain in his ribs and his shoulder and everything and sit down sit like <laughs> rest rest I kind of try to like push you back into like very <laughs> gently like push you back into yeah. the pillow he like <laughs> kind of still puzzles <laughs> a little bit but, like <sighs> you you did a, you did a real number on me kid <laughs> what ha- what happened yeah. last night why did you you guys went with Lacey, and I knew it was a bad idea. Where, Where's Barrett? Is he okay? And I, Lacey? I have, I have no idea. I was trying to protect them. Protect? From... Did you find the creature? <laughs> what do you remember? from last night I remember talking to you I I remember 
you guys wanted to hunt the creature, and I knew it was a bad idea, and I remember going to the woods and being, and then I, and then going home. Being home. That's all. Do you remember meeting up with Lacey? I don't know. Do you yes. remember coming with us into the woods? Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Mother Adele said I was here. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta say, kid. I've been to some strange places before I came here, but all those other places, they were predictable, you know, I, uh, I had people that were really, really good with numbers, give me a lot of odds about whether or not I would survive these places, and always came back. Well, I'm very, very thankful that you did come back. I wasn't so sure last night. I knew it was a bad idea. We... We can't... I don't think we should keep doing this. We don't know what that creature was. We don't know anything about what's happening. And now look at you! I mean, <laughs> what are we going to do about this? I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Not me. Not Barrett. <laughs> In a weird way, I feel like I should almost thank you. <laughs> what for? Because... Nothing kills me. Nothing's ever come close. Yeah. I wouldn't Except think that by the look of you. for you. What? I don't know what you mean, but I'm sorry if I said anything. I know you've been upset with me. It's, it's not that. It's not you, per se, but there's something inside of you. I mean... Look, kid, I, uh... I had a family once, and they're gone now. And I left where I'm from to get away from them, to get away from their ghosts, to get away from everything that I was one. And I came here just to create some distance and start over, and I... I found a new purpose here a little bit. I've been trying to, I've been forcing myself and all of that and I mean There's something about you kid, you remind me of them. And I gotta I gotta keep rolling with with this decision I've made and I have to keep finding ways to press on and keep pressing forward and my my place is here now and when you came with us, my goal last night was to keep you alive. Because you made a dumbass, fucking stupid kid decision to follow us into the woods. You wouldn't leave, you wouldn't... You're, you're so fucking determined to find this thing. Even though you're like a dumb animal that would catch a little fucking thing and not know what to do with it after you caught it. Just a dumbass fucking kitten. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of like sitting there, like quiet but, for a moment. But, but there's this ferocious thing inside of you, and and I don't know how to handle what happened. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what the fuck you became. But I couldn't be afraid of it. Because my goal was to get you back here. That's that's all. That's my only purpose. And he like pushes himself up in bed. It's like, and now that you're here, 
and you're back. I think my purpose is fulfilled. She sits kind of quietly by your side for a moment. I don't know if I told you this, but I grew up in Pennsylvania. And, well, I grew up in an orphanage in Pennsylvania. And I had lots of friends but it never felt like I was quite fit in and I feel like you know how that feels and I feel like we're both lost I can't I'm confused I don't know what you mean I'm sorry if I had done something but, Mr. Teller, <laughs> you've been a part of our family for quite some time, and I think if there's a purpose that you need to fulfill, then it's your purpose. It has nothing to do with us, or me, or... You still have purpose. I was late to my purpose. <laughs> You can't be late for your purpose. I was. I was late for my purpose. I was very far away when the people that relied on me needed me. But were you last night? No. Purpose is a funny word. We all have trouble with it. And if that's what you need to go on, then I understand, but there's more things than... You're here now. You're alive now. I, your, your heart's beating. I'm sure you're in pain. And if living isn't purpose enough, then... You know, I wouldn't know if I had a purpose either. failed time and again to do what I was meant to do with everything I have now I continue to still you were lucky to be alive just as much as I am I don't know how you got back here I don't know how I got back here what I do know is that I need to get the fuck out of here and away from this Away from you. Away from Barrett. Away from everybody. And I think until you get a grasp on whatever the fuck is inside of you, I think you should consider doing the same. You changed last night. Something snapped inside of you. And I don't know how you're feeling. I don't know if you're aware of it. Or if you have any after effects. But I can't fully believe even what happened last night. But you changed. You turned into something that I can only d describe as a demon. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Teller, if you don't want to be near me anymore, then I'll leave. But it. It's not that I don't want to be near you, it's that I don't think you should be near anyone anymore. And I don't think I should either. For wildly different reasons, but you turned into something and I don't know how else to make that clear to you. You had horns and wings I understand, and a Mr. Tail. Teller. until you get a grasp on whatever the fuck that is. I think you and I are in the same boat. And I think both of us should leave Arcadian Haven in two very different directions. The people around us don't deserve it. I hope that you feel better soon, Mr. Teller. And she kind of like gets up and walks out. 
the door. Am I disturbing a conversation? The door opens again and you see Mother Adele step through. Arabella's kind of like looking at the floor, teary-eyed. Mr. Teller, you're awake. Against all odds, it seems. Yes, I um, heard of your success out there. You did? Absolutely, but I'm sorry you had to pay such a terrible cost. Hopefully we can get you up and moving in no time. This place yeah. won't last long without you, Mr. Teller. <laughs> okay. Longer than you would think. Of course. She's kind of like still looking at the mm. floor, like not really looking at uh, Mother Della or Mr. Teller. Feel a hand on your back. Child, I think Mr. Teller needs some new cloth and motions to the dried blood mm -hmm. on the bandages. Would you be a dear and fetch us some from downstairs? She just kind of nods and like immediately walks out of the room. Thank you, child. Mr. Teller? Mother Dell. I suppose you want to know what happened last night. Of course, I mean... Delivered to us in this condition. What happened? Before I tell you anything, I want to know something. Of course. How did Arabella come to you? Where did she come from? Oh, well, we took in Arabella from out of state. Um, it happens often. My mother and I would travel quite often before s uh, she settled here and me in turn. Um, altruistic deeds are a hobby of mine. What better way to spread joy than at an orphanage where it's desperately needed and I was stricken with Arabella. Such a kind soul. I can't help but wonder if there's a deeper reason behind everything. A reason that all of us here, I've spent our entire lives in search of Mr. Teller. And I think every day we get closer. That looks outside at the, the light bleeding through. I, I can't keep getting this feeling, or can't help but keep getting this feeling that there, there's purpose. And I can't find it, because I keep almost dying. I keep coming within inches of that last door, reaching for it and almost opening it. And I can't get there. Mr. Teller. She like, walks right beside the bed and like grabs your hand and holds it. Feels warm. She says, that word almost, <laughs> that most assuredly says that you have a purpose <laughs> yet to be fulfilled. You're here right now, and unfortunately, not everyone made it through last night. Yeah. Lacey, she's... Squeezes your hand. Yeah. I'm sorry. I haven't told Arabella yet. She's a sensitive one will hurt but her faith will heal her and perhaps something else what do you mean she was out there with us last night turns her head she 
as she does, she left the compound in the night. She was out there with us. I know Olivia's rebellious streak as a way of rubbing off on others, but I can assure you, Arabella was here last night. I, in your condition, I wouldn't be surprised if... Well, she starts squeezing mm. harder and harder. She says, if you had quite the nightmare. Nightmares don't leave scars. She lets go. Mr. Teller, I can once again assure you, and her back is to you now, she's facing out the window. Mm. Arabella was here last night. Thank you for your hospitality. She turns back around, and you just see this gaze to her that just pierces right through you. She walks. Mr. Teller. You're in quite the condition right now. It's dangerous to go out in such company. She just kind of reaches down and like cups your face in her hand. Mm. She says, I have faith and all will be well, Mr. Teller. And an incident like last night will not happen again. Because of course, you've hunted the beast. And there's no need to linger on such a night any longer. And he starts kind of like shaking his head mostly to like get her yeah, hand off pulls his away. face. It's like, you know what I mean, Adele. And as soon as I'm well enough to leave this bed, I'm leaving this compound and this town. And getting away from everything that's happening here. I don't know how deep this hole goes, but I'm not willing to find the bottom of it. You've been falling for quite some time, Mr. Teller, haven't you? Too long. Starts walking out slowly. I wonder. I always wondered about you, Mr. Teller. That tired look in your eyes. I know. Now I know. It's exhausting when you're running. Just running and running. Far be it for me to stop you, Mr. Teller. And get you right back on your feet. And you can run. Rest well, Mr. Teller. I hope you have sweeter dreams. God bless. She walks out. Just kind of scoffs and rolls over. Uh, Arabella, you enter the hallway at the mm -hmm. far end as Arabella is leaving from the other side, and you both kind of converge. Uh, I kind of like hand her over the towels or like the cloths. Why don't you handle the child? And um, poor Mister Teller, he's been through so much in life. You can just see it on his face. I know, but I don't think he would like me in the room with him right now. Oh. I kind of like slowly like. Then perhaps give we did. Her, like the puppy dog eyes, and, like. Ugh. She grabs it. Perhaps we'll let Brother Lewis handle this then. Thank you. Of course. Be on your way, child. You have chores. Okay. 
And remember, tomorrow morning, up and early. I remember. I remember. We kind of go along. So. Barrett, you doing anything? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, this is going to be the only day that I don't go to my spot. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend the day cleaning the backseat of my car. Mm. Um, cleaning the inside of my house. Yeah, we just see, like, Barrett with, like, he has, like, his dress shirt on, but the sleeves all rolled up. He's just scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Yeah. And we see a bucket of, um, like, soapy blood. Yeah. Water. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm going to, like, very, like, meticulously make sure there's no trace of what happened. Yeah. Um, and I think by the time I'm done, it's probably later in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just going to drive into town. Mm. And just, like, ha- just, like, go get food. And, like, just, like, so, like, be part of the community for one day. Yeah, I think we see um, this this moment where um, we see where Barrett gets his sandwiches. (laughs) (laughs) uh, The Domino Diner. (laughs) Um, There's like a young kid. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, he kind of gets his ones. There's a young kid that works there. Uh Uh, He is like a young chef there, Mm -hmm. so to say. Um, there he goes. His name is Oster Laplume. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he's like 16 years old, yeah. very young. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of is always berated by the other chef there, mm-hmm. but he's earnest in how he looks over there. Um, he's got shaved head. He wears these big, thick rim glasses, and um, he sees you. Fling! Rain into the small the uh, the diner itself is one of those like rustic like steel bound mm-hmm. like trailer diners over mm-hmm. here. Uh, it's pretty busy this morning. You hear the the clamoring of people, and um, you you see the boy there, mm-hmm. and he you see him through the window through the kitchen, and he's just like oh yeah right right over here sir come on uh, just come over to the end over here. Uh, uh, Excuse me, sorry. Ah. And you see him trying to go to the back. Yeah, you see yeah. this young, plucky kid trying to come back around. And uh, he has a uh, white apron on and he pulls it off and yeah. he exits through the, the folding door, <laughs> comes out with uh, just like this Tupper, this large Tupperware box of like wrapped sandwiches. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like, yeah. Puts it on the counter. Uh-huh. And he's just like, uh, yep, yep, uh, just like what you paid for the other day. Uh, ham and cheese. Uh, got a little, uh, I tried out a new uh, new sauce over on that roast beef one over there. I think you'll like that one. Oh, thanks, Oscar. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, how how I, you doing? I hand him, like, a card that's, like, just black. Like, <laughs> nothing on it. <laughs> uh, it, like, almost seems to absorb the light around it. It's just so black. He's yeah. like, oh, thank you, Mr. Stare. Yeah. Uh, how, how's how's work been, Oscar? How's it going? Uh, you know, it's busy. Uh, you know, things are, things things are kind of weird around here lately today. I don't know. Everyone seems kind of like dour, a little down today. Uh, I, yeah. I haven't gotten out of this kitchen in a bit. There was an accident up in the woods when hunting for that bear. Oh, it was a bear? Yeah, it was hurting some townspeople. Wow. Uh, you, you know that Lacey girl? Uh, Lacey, Lacey. Uh, yeah, Lacey uh, Le- Lacroix, right? I think that yeah, was it. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, yeah. Uh, um, popular around over at the hunting lodge over there. Up uh, in Starter. Yeah. Uh, you know? She didn't make it last night. It was uh, unfortunate. But we, oh. We took care of the bear, though. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, wow. a pretty sad story. That yeah. one. I can't, I like start unwrapping a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so desensitized yeah, to yeah. it. It's pretty sad. Um, <laughs> oh. He kind of like. Wow, I, I, I guess, huh, I guess I should, uh, guess I should get used to that, right? You know, um, uh, want to join, want to join the military and all. Yeah, uh, I mean, military or not, hopefully you won't have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Lacey, Lacey, 
She was yeah. damn good at her job. Yeah, she was, but wasn't a normal bear. Things have been weird around here. Make sure you stay safe. Oh, you too, Mr. Stare. You too. Have, wow. have you ever have you ever been hunting? <laughs> Not me, no, no. It's hard enough for me working a spatula back there. I don't know about a gun. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. I'm learning, though. I'm learning. Yeah, it'd be useful. Um, just try not to go out in the woods at night. And, you know, just try not to get lost in your own head. I think that might be equally as dangerous around here. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, oh, uh, Mr. Stare, I, I don't want to be like that. You can't have pets in here. You see beside you, <laughs> they just jumped onto the counter, sniffing the sandwiches. You see Bowie. Oh, uh, I didn't know you had a pet. Uh, I mean, he's like looking for like a leash or some sort of harness around. <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's is, not, that a, is that a is that a mole rat? A, what is that? I think, <laughs> I think it's a ferret. Like, it's not really mine. It just follows me around. You got a ferret following you around, sir? <laughs> yeah. Wow. For a while now. Wow. All right. Must be all those sandwiches you're carrying. You must like them. He's not right, little guy. He, like scratches. <laughs> I like it. Take a little bit of bread off the sandwich and give it to Bowie. He grabs it. <laughs> Eats it with his little hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe it's horrible right. noises. The stomach opens up. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sideways yeah. mouth. Uh, <laughs> hey, Oscar, another question for you. Yeah, of course. Uh, have you ever heard of the girl Arabella? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, you know, uh, she's popular around. Yeah. Really nice girl. How, how long have you known her? How long has she been around here? As far as I know, as far as I can remember. Okay. Um, Not that it really counts for much. I, you know, kind of motions around the old, like a lot of the old people who are here. Yeah, she's a nice girl. Maybe we should get to know her. Oh, you know, maybe, yeah, you know, but, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to the kitchen. <laughs> it's on his apron. Hey, right, have a good day, Oscar. You too, Mr. Stare. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Take another bite of my sandwich. And leave. Ah, right, come on, sandwich. Bowie. <laughs> People are like watching as this ferret <laughs> <laughs> follows you out. <laughs> we take that moment as we start pulling back. And we look over the large mountain scape of town. Mm-hmm. And we see the glistening lake against the sunlight over towards the east. And things start to go dark. In a sudden, we see a metal door with a red light. Let me zoom in very slowly on it. Rubble all around. Another fade. And that's where we end. <laughs> huh. Whew. <laughs> God, that got Damn. heavy. That got <laughs> really, oh, really man. heavy. Oh, <laughs> throwing the punches, episode five, oh, baby. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Oh, Let's it go. Hurts. It fucking <laughs> hurts. We got PvP. Yeah, we yeah. got death. Yeah, oh. there, there's. Yeah. We're like we treading on some emotional depth Damn that we it. never came close to in oh the first campaign. Gosh. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, happy holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very yeah, fucking yeah. So, so enjoy Christmas in the next couple yeah, days because that's know. the only highlight that you're gonna have Holy this week. Because <laughs> it's not with us. You know what's a great gift? Initiative merch. Yes. Oh. Beanies. You love Depress- beanies. <laughs> you love your grandma. You love <laughs> t-shirt. Do it. You love snapbacks for the hey. grandma. You love mm-hmm. snapbacks for grandma. <laughs> snapback for grandma. Hey. Hashtag snapbacks for grandma. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode. And your auntie and your uncle and your cousins and your little <laughs> siblings and your mom uh, and your dad. And... 
Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Umbra Initiative. This is an interesting episode for sure. You can catch us every week, 6.30 p.m. EST over at twitch.tv slash keeptappinets, but maybe you can't catch us live. Totally understand. In which case, you can check out the VODs on twitch.tv slash keeptappinets, youtube.com slash keeptappinets, or Spotify. Mm -hmm. Just look up the Umbra Initiative or keeptappinets or... Wherever yeah, you get your podcast. You'll find us. And you'll find us over there. Mm-hmm. And you, yes, you can find the Google Play Music, Apple Podcast, anywhere you find your podcast, mm-hmm. you can listen to us. Please, uh, if you want to get us anything for Christmas, how about you share some of our stuff? Yeah, oh, how about spread the, the word? Yes, it doesn't common. cost you a dollar. Watch us on Twitch. Yeah. Watch us live. Uh, but if you do want to spend a dollar. <laughs> and you're watching us live on if Twitch. If you want to get yourself a nice Christmas gift. You can you can donate some money to us and we'll use it to upgrade our, our stream. Or subscribe. Or subscribe. Or subscribe. Yeah. And uh free with Prime? Free yeah. with Prime if you have and Amazon Prime. You get all these little emotes. That's yeah. our gift to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next week. We're gonna raid, stick around yeah, yeah, yeah. for other people. We love you. See you next week. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. 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 Bye.